Rogue. Ultra gives me gas. Oh. Oh. And we're on, baby. We's in there. We's in there. I shot my best round today and on disc golf. Ladies and gentlemen, get that out of the way right here, right now. Shot my best round over at Presker Park. Shot even. What were you playing? Par. What were you playing? All the way through. Plays disc golf. Disc golf? I was playing disc golf. Dang, bro. By and yourself? I, and I was, I was throwing them boys alone. By dude. yourself? <laughs> I was riding solo dolo, dude. Solo dolo. Solo okay. dolo disc throwing. So slanging. What, so were you do, were, you're aiming for your personal best? I was, I'm always aiming for my personal oh, best. Even when you're with the... Always. I, I always aim Damn. right. I'm always yeah. aiming for my personal best. So today... I'm aiming for your personal best. Damn. I'm trying to... I'm always aiming to beat anybody who's out there. Damn. So if it's just me, it's... I got I gotta be... You're saying that shit is mad beating myself. What is fuck? this? Oh, it's a roll. What the fuck? That's how they come? Mm-hmm. The Percy smoked that shit. Go on for YouTube. <sighs> okay. I don't want to get mad too high. He so hit, I was out there though. He hit the stick twice. And, uh, <laughs> and honestly, I, my virgin lungs, dude. It was a good day. It was a good day, and I thought I lost a disc. I was that. I thought I lost a. How disc does that, that feel? Because does that fuck up? Like, like that's like you losing a socket in your wrench set. You know what I'm I'll saying? I'll tell you what. I lost fuck my that. favorite disc the last time I went out. Favorite disc. How'd you lose it? Like, you I threw, it, I threw, it, threw it and I couldn't find it. I, or I forgot oh, it somewhere. Bad? Or I forgot it somewhere. I think I just forgot it somewhere. Cause that sounds like you launched it, then I, like you fucking chucked that. It's bitch. usually what happens is I'll throw, if is uh usually when I lose one I'll throw two or three off the tee pad. So I'll Why? throw two or three. Well, because when you're when you're playing not in a fucking tournament or something, you just throw a couple, throw a couple, you know. Oh you yeah, see, you're, see, yeah, you're right. You know, so, yeah. throw throw a few discs. You see, see shots. what the best. Yeah, see, you know, oh, play off you, your man. best throw. Gotcha, so you do gotcha. tournaments? No, fuck no. Are you no. willing to do tournaments? Eventually, maybe one day. I would do tournaments. Yeah, eventually, maybe. Here's the thing. I was told that shooting like that's why he's practicing. Huh? I was told that pl shooting plus like five six in a in a plus eighteen is like middle of the fucking pack. Well, I shot even, which is basically zero. So like I I'd he's probably perfect. be top ten. He's fucking perfect. I I'm thinking like top ten perfect, in a serious dog. amateur. Thank you, dude. I did felt they, perfect damn. out there. Do they pair you up against people or yeah, is it just yeah. kind of like no? We, they we pair all you up see against people. Do, and honestly, I mean? I'd probably go out there and play with Justin. Play a little doubles. Damn. You know, so less dude, is on me. What you so got to do you, as a team? As, team. as a team, not against. It's a team. And honestly, okay. I like that because it, you play usually best throw. So you both throw throw a disc. So and if he fucks up, you got to get on his ass. Like, hey, but honestly, because I'm not as good at driving and he's hella good with driving. So I'm, I'm going to be okay. like, you drive. We're going to play oh, off you yours switch mostly. it off like that. Well, what you mean you both throw a disc. Oh, okay. But like odds are he's going to have a better land. Mm. So like we'll be able to play out that one just gonna be better so you're trying Smart. to say justin is gonna carry you dog i think i can help him in other ways <laughs> i think my upshot is much better than maybe his and i think his drive is much better than mine and maybe i'm just speaking out my ass what's justin's uh nickname because you're gator boy hutch the field. Uh, hutch like his Darcy last name is hutchinson hutch. oh okay that makes sense i was like he picked hutch hutch because hutch is his like dad's that. nickname is hutch and so a that's hutch a little is, hutch a hutch is like a dresser with the cabinet on top like you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a, a hutch. little hutch. <laughs> yeah, they those are old school. Yeah. But anyways, I was out there and I channeled a little bit of a little bit of Paul Macbeth. Y'all know who that is? Yeah, Macbeth. Not of course. It's that six time. Oh shit! It's Paul Macbeth. That's the six time. Six. He just won worlds. Six time. The sixth time. We're saying six a lot right now. Six. <laughs> he won worlds for the sixth time. Dude, get you him on the pod. Understand what that is? What the fuck? Get him on the pod. Get him on the pod. If you get him, what's, I'll his, what's his name? Get him out. on the fucking pod. What's bro? his name? Look, Chad. It's the whitest name you could think. Todd. Paul Macbeth. I was oh, say Paul Tyler. Macbeth. Oh, his real name was Paul Macbeth. I knew Macbeth, not Paul. No, Paul Macbeth. Oh, because when the they... sixth time you put some fucking respect on Yo, that. The sixth so time. I was out here throwing <laughs> some Hades today. I was out here throwing my Hades. You were throwing Hades. Who my, th my my Paul Macbeth Hades? I was out here throwing it today, channeling Paul. And honestly, I've. There's two there's two shots on this on this course that I was playing on. That that fucking Hades, Paul. Nick. That Hades is money. Okay, is it is it frozen? Is it being weird? We got technical difficulties. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh fuck. Are we gonna cut? Yep, we're gonna have to cut. We're gonna cut. What, what makes him best? so special? You know what I mean about you? What's his? Th it's his throw. His is it's his it's his drive and his tenacity. It's the ability to come back. Does he take it serious? How guys? How serious are you guys out there? Like, 
Well, I think there's more people that are obviously more serious. He has tenacity. I take it pretty serious. Okay. Dog, you got to come out and play. I tried to get Mikey to come out. You guys just got to come out and throw. Come I'll out and throw. Down, get yeah. addicted because once you have one or, one or two good throws, you're like, oh, should I see what this was all about? What's another good spot? Like besides Waller Park, where else? Where, where, what other uh, parks are there? Wallard, well, Presker. Presker, guys. I saw that. That's kind of new. Uh, like, Sinshimer and Slow. Laguna. Laguna, yeah. Uh, Dairy Creek. And Heilman in, in Atascadero. Dairy Creek. Dairy Creek. Heilman. Heilman. Yeah, Sinshimer. It, how big of a sport is it? Like, is, do you watch YouTube? Do you YouTube it? Do oh, it's you pretty big. I watch like YouTube that? on it now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's quickly growing. Instagram watching. It's quickly clips. growing. No shit. Yeah, no, it's everywhere. Yeah, no, I've seen it. It definitely seen it before. And I remember, remember playing against sports. I was gonna buy it. It was like a three disc the box starter set, set. Like a starter set. Yeah, I was really considering. That's what I started with. Okay. A little three disc starter set. Yeah, it's got, you got like a putter, Innova. a driver, and like one that like curves or some shit. Huh? And I it, well, there. So basically, you get there. There's differences in in the discs. So there's overstable and understable, and then there's like stable discs. Easiest way to think about it is like overstable discs. Over overstable disc is gonna want to. Cut hard at the end. Bank left Zoom in on this bank man. Right. Zoom in on when this you man. throw it, when you, if a right-handed throwing backhand, it's gonna want to cut hard to the left at the end of its at the end of its flight. An understable disc, when you throw it, and if you have enough arm power, it'll turn right before finishing to the left. So, like an overstable disc, if you're on a flat line, you're like over here. Understable, you could be kind of landing more in the middle of the fairway because it fades out right before it fades back so in. So each disc has its own like, each disc form has, of trajectory. They all have different flight numbers. Flight numbers. Boom. Okay. So every disc has a different utility. For sure. And that's why it gets real technical, I bet. Like, it gets Big real, time. you know? The craft. Well, and if you don't have the right... It, it sounds some, fun. It, it's, it definitely sounds like a hobby. It's a... Uh, like... The thing is, is everything is... Everything sounds seems... Sounds like something to drink beer to you. Yeah, that's what people do. They go out, they have yeah. some beers, they fucking walk around the course. I'll definitely Here's the thing. Do that. It's one of those I don't think anybody I don't I certainly didn't take it seriously until I went out and did it. Okay. The first shot I was like, whatever, dog. let's just kick it. A couple brews. And they played like homies, it was on. My homies just kept on talking me into it. They were like, Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and I was like, finally one night I was a little drunk. I was I was I was up late making irrational decisions. And uh they got me on the Xbox party and they were like, we're going out tomorrow. And I was like, it's like, you know what, dog? I was like, cause they usually go out at like seven. And I was like, dog, you'd be making nine o'clock in the morning, not seven. Yeah, that's and, a little, you, and you pick me up. It's all wet. I'll go. I know the sprinklers just shut off. <laughs> There's a bunch of dew and cows. So the, fuck, the fucking gardeners out there just fuck with that lawnmower. Yeah, you know? dude. Hella like, dewy people are walking their dogs. taking so, shit. They, so we picked me up nine o'clock. We went out. I had a blast. I had a blast. And honestly, it, maybe I didn't have as much of a blast the first time. I was very not good. I was throwing shit straight up. Fucking yeah. terrible. You're never going to be it good. It was terrible. Time. Come on. Everyone knows that. But I, but I quick, but I saw, crawl. but I saw other people. Uh -huh. I saw what other people were doing out there. And I was like, motherfucker, I got to, there's no way I shouldn't be able to Were do you that. ever so bad where there's people waiting for you to fucking hurry up? No, no. In fact, I'd say, and I don't want to fucking. You don't want to what? I don't want to hide myself up, dude, but I've progressed very quickly, man. I've only been playing three months, and I'm shooting evens. And you think you're a fucking pro? Not pro, but I've definitely progressed. Dude, my homie Justin has been playing for over a year, and he's barely hitting evens. Mm. Like that's where he's at now. He's getting, he's hitting evens, and he's so getting, so each. It's like it's golf, right? It's I like mean, golf. So it's, like each, it's the same each, rules. Each course has its. Per par or whatever, like five par on this or exactly six on this or three on one other one. Most or... of it's three, four, okay. five. But uh, yeah. So how much is Waller in, in total? Like how much part? Like, Waller is a pro. Waller is one of the only pro am courses in the area. It's twenty seven holes, and it's very technical. There's a lot of four hole, four pars. It's a big fucking course. All right. So my question is like, so like you know, course one is but uh, three pars, right? And par three. Par. Par three. Okay. Hole, hole one? Yeah. And then hole two would be par what? Five I or can, some shit, I'll right? Even, like, I'll, I don't fucking I'm know. just wondering, like, so, like, if you were to add up all the pars in total. So today, my this is what my round looked like. 56. How do you negative off the your points and shit? So here's the thing. 
But hole one was a par three. <laughs> you, you play per round. Hole like one you win. was par three. I part it. Hole two was par three. I part it. Hole three was a par four. I part it. Hole three was a par so three. So you got no points. I birdied. You just cleared him. Well, dude, you don't plus. You no, know, it's hard add, to do. I'm saying it's you, hard when to do. When you add you points, him, adding just, points is trying, not good. You, you par I'm bad is. At poker too. Hey, we're trying to play to win. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking throw numbers. I'm uh, trying to get. I need a game we're plan. Try, we're going for honestly hole in par. One, what I did par. On this oh, aces. Right we're trying to get under a par, homie. Where's the, where's That's the how fucking, you want to be. You want to be under. That's where you want to be. You want to be under par. And I had some. And so here's the thing. I'm at a point where today I even. But there was a lot of throws that I could. That's not. That's not a bad game. There's a lot of throws that I could have definitely made. I could have definitely made it to the basket in one throw, two birdie. So like going forward, now I'm gonna be playing for birdies on these fucking holes. I'm a. I'm a simple. I'm gonna get in there and go what's negative. A fuck, what's a birdie? What's a birdie? So if it's a hole th- par three, okay, you do three. it in two. There you go. Oh, boom, All birdie. Right. There, yeah, two. One is a hole, you you a hole in one. Did anything over that? Anything bogey. over par is just bogey. Bogey one, bogey two. So if you, if you miss by six bogey. shots, that's oh then a, but, okay. But some bogey. some of the um, is there with, double bogeys with golf at least uh, some of the some of the things are longer. Like you can get like a par five yes. because it's a big ass fucking. It's a spot. long ass. So all of them are. Different. It's all by distance. Wow. So like three hundred up to three hundred feet is typically a par three, four hundred feet and up. Like four par four, par five. Mm. It's depending so on how many throws like, it's gonna yeah. take you to get there. So if it's three hundred feet and you got three chances, you need to be throwing at least over a hundred feet, and then with accuracy. So you got to give yourself at least one fucking. You need it. You need I'm, two hucks. I'm consistently and one, like, getting nice one where you fucking between two and three hundred feet. I'd say off my off my throws. So like in golf, you know, you got to get on green. It's like that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. They don't. So, they don't round it off like that, right? There's not sections. Oh, there's, just, there's just, OBs. There's oh, out of no bounds. Shit. There's mandatories. So like, yeah, you a mando, you've got to you've got to throw it, and it's got to stay on this side of the tree line. Uh, otherwise, no, yeah. it's a you oh, know. Otherwise, you fuck. take a stroke if it goes on the on the other side. Ob. But they cut down trees all the time. No, they plant trees for for disc golf. They, they don't. They don't want you to get a straight shot. You got to maneuver. Oh, they're out there. Trees. They're out there planting trees. So there, sometimes there you are, don't just throw a long drive. You got to throw. Trees, you're right. Just to make, just to be a bitch. They're like that's you know, what they do. Your they'll, starter they'll, disc could be the one that has to bank around. Yeah, I have three I have trees discs that are shit. overstable. So have you so ever got like, in between like, trees gonna, all cherry like just zoom? I just did it the like not this time, but the last time I went out at Waller. Yeah, they were they were talking. Justin was out there caddying for his his. One of his uh, family friends is a almost pro. You have caddies for golfing though. I mean, disc like he, golf. He just basically wears. He just basically he's wears not playing the disc backpack. He's not playing. Not playing. Oh, he's shit. walking around with with Lawson. That's commitment. And so Lawson's <laughs> out there, and Lawson hit a fucking a cherry cherry gap, and was like, "Fuck, I'll never be able to do that shit again." And we walked up to the hole, and Justin was telling us about it. <laughs> and I fucking hit the gap. Uh, oh, yeah. and he's, oh. Like, he's like, bam, bam, bam. I'm, ba- I'm basically am. That was yeah. basically he's basically I'm basically pro am. No, he's on. No, he's flow. There you so, go. He's flow. So that's where that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at yeah. with my disc golf journey. I've been enjoying it a lot. I want to get more people to come out and just play with me, even if it's just come and have a drink. I have a plenty of fucking discs. Let's do it on shrooms. I got so dog. many. Di- no, you Let's would not. Let's do it on shrooms. Bro. Let's do it on drunk first. Oh. Do it drunk first. Let's and then, go for it. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna know what you're doing on shrooms. This is gonna look oh, like it's. I'm not saying let's fucking do a hero drop, bro. I'm just saying we're gonna get out there. We're gonna throw <laughs> twice, and we're gonna end up just enjoying the fucking park on shrooms. Is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up I'm taking the disc golf that. bag and like right, let's go put that. this back in the car, dude. <laughs> Fuck all this disc golf shit. It's just gay, dude. We're all in the <laughs> fucking <laughs> pond. Oh, what the fuck? Fucking, this this <laughs> golf's just gay, dude. Just fucking put the let's put the bag back, bro. Let's hit the pond. Why the is not belly right now. in the pond? The, the pond's all <laughs> empty right fun? now out of Presker, but we're like envisioning that it's it's full, bro. Fucking we'll Donny Ch- Don, full. Donnie's climbing the tree. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm getting a dish. I see a dish. Dude, too much. Bro. It's You're a gonna dish. Scale, scale the Mikey's on the swing. <laughs> Mikey's on the swing. I'll be out there. He's yelling for somebody to push him, but nobody's around. Uh, <laughs> what I never got, dude, clear this shit up for me. Because what the fuck? Next door is like a golf club, right? Where? Next to Waller? What is that? Isn't that like a club? It, yeah, it's, it's an airport uh, out there. Country club. It's a don't big have, ass park. Waller big have, ass they park. They don't have golf though. I don't think they do. They, do have, they have a sh- Oh yeah. Well, Not regular they golf. They do have I think they have like what? Three hey, y'all courts? seen soccer golf? They have like a three buddy. Soccer golf. There's three different I golf never heard of soccer golf. So though. soccer golf is you go out with a soccer ball. Indoor soccer looks fun. I'm not going to Soccer fun. golf. You go out with a soccer ball. There's holes with fucking with the flag like it looks like a regular like a regular golf hole. 
but it's big enough that you could fucking kick your soccer ball in. I'm not going in there, bro. I'd rather toss fucking... So you, you're you not into soccer golf? No. Disc golf or soccer golf? You're going disc? Disc golf. Yeah, all day. All right, let's hit yeah, it, bro. Let's get out disc golf all day. Yeah, all day. You know, right, now that you talk about, about it, it, yeah, disc golf. Uh, we're going to watch some Paul McBeth highlights after this. We're going to get all what? fucking hyped up on some shit. Hey, bro, we're not doing that. Bro. It's cool, I'm though. trying to get we'll sponsored by Big now. Five, dog. <laughs> 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 we're going down. Shit. Not, hey, but enough about disc golf. Let's talk about some real sports. None of our fucking teams came out of week one. Losers. Win. Losers. In fact, Mike's and my team looked S- god awful. Mine didn't look great either. So did uh, mine didn't look great. The I'm Rams and the fans. Niners are in the same division. No, I know. They looked but... pretty fucking bad. The, the, here's the thing: the Niners. I think you know. I'll give it. I'll give it week one woes. A lot of penalties. Uh, week one shitty woes? weather. Shitty weather. Shout out Debo. Shout out Debo. The only one out there the making only real one out plays. There making plays. Shit, making plays, bro. Beast so, of a guy. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what comes superstar. up. Superstar. He's gonna be the. He's a he's superstar. A super, he's gotta he's stay not healthy just a pro bowler. He's though. a superstar. He's gotta stay healthy this year though, because uh, last year was the only year he stayed healthy. Well, you guys aren't running him as much no more. Like I, I think, think it was so. in his contract. I think he only ran four times, which yeah, is he didn't run that much. But yeah. our star, uh, our, our oh. running back, got injured. First string running back Elijah Mitchell. Mm. We out for six to eight games. Someone, someone, who the Six fuck got the cramps? Games. They got two cramps. Uh, someone got taken out. Clip. Paul McBeth had some cramps in this cramps. last Worlds, bro. They had to go had stretch to him change out up on his, the field. Had to change up his putting form. I know I'm going back into disc golf. There's a lot of injuries. Putting form. Dude, tell him to drink some fucking Still fucking, fucking handled it. It's change up his putt, like, putting form. Still handled it. Dude. Six time, dude. Paul McBeth. But yeah, uh, I don't know who got, who got cramped. But honestly, a lot of teams didn't look good week one. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers fucking choked. Looked like garbage. There's a lot of teams that didn't look great, so uh, what yeah. team did see what good. happens. What, what team, team did look good? good? Uh, the Chiefs. The Chiefs the obviously murdered. Josh Allen was a monster of a player. Um, the Commanders honestly kind of looked yeah, good. Kirk Cousins was killing it, dude, with the Vikings. With the Vikings, yeah. He was fucking looking good. Um, Tampa Bay is going to be a problem again, always. They're going to be a problem. Even with just the their guys, like, what's his name? Uh, Chris Godwin, he got hurt. And they still beast. Julio Jones, shout out Julio Jones, making a T- comeback. TJ Watt got injured. That was crazy. Bro. Steelers like week one, abdomen. tore his pec. Or his what? pec, yeah. It was Six pec. weeks. Six yeah. weeks, no surgery. I seen that shit too. Or oh, Dak Prescott. Dak's out. Fucked up his thumb. Yeah, weeks. fucked up his thumbs. Eight weeks. Uh, Jerry's actually, Jerry said no surgery, six to eight weeks. Uh, I thought it was with surgery. I think no surgery. I think he said no surgery on this. Okay. I th- do you, do you think I it's a mistake? Said. Do you think it's a mistake sometimes for them to be like no surgery and get back out there? Or do you think they should just have it and get back? Like, take I think, the season. I mean, they're getting MRIs. They're, they'll, surgery, they'll decide the right, at, right then and there, bro. They're deciding. As I soon know, as he walked I off. Think, but honestly, I think TJ Watt, I think in TJ Watt's situation, you have a guy who's like, can I play if I don't get surgery? And they go, no, he's old. Technically, too. no, TJ's still young, dude. Not not JJ, TJ. His, oh, it's his TJ. His brother in Pittsburgh. Oh, he's like 26 or 27. Yeah, TJ Watt is a younger one. So he's he tore his pec. So, like, Imagine they go to him and they're like, he's an integral part of that defense. And they're like, Fuck yeah. here's the thing. You could have surgery and you'd be out the rest of the season, but you're going to be 100% next season. Or in six to eight weeks, you'll be at 75%. You can play, but you're you're going to be uh, – Fuck You're going to be kind of fucked still. You're, you might not be at 100 You know, you're not going to yeah. be at 100%. You have a, a chance to re fucking aggravate this injury because I think it's in the contract too. But I don't even think they decide. I think it's if you the need team? to get it because they have them for multiple. They're a million dollar. I would investment. hope so, right? They're investments. They're a million dollar investments. So I would hope so. If the team's like, yo, if you get surgery, you're last longer than you know this season. Like, you think looking, that's what they do? I think so because that, they're, they're invested also, in next year and the next four years of their contract. Could also just be like, hey, we got. Like, they don't want to just now, pay well. him to not play. But what if they have a chance at their contender? I mean, I guess it's week one. You don't really know if you're even in contention. No one knows shit yet. Nobody knows. No one knows shit. What about Jimmy G? Y'all think Jimmy G goes anywhere? I think he's one of the Cowboys. You think so? I think so. I think they're considering it also. Like, I joked about it. Because they need someone for the six to eight weeks of Dak Prescott. Why don't you guys make a bet? About why don't you guys bet? Why don't you go to fucking DraftKings and bet each other? Because it ain't legal yet. <laughs> Brings us to our uh, next segment. <laughs> I know. Remember, there's a... Uh, Props coming up, Proposition 27 or something for gambling in oh, yeah, America, that shit is. California. Yeah, and they're going to build like low-income homes uh, and shit. So you should probably vote on that oh, and let's get California sports betting going because I would love to bet. I'd love to put a little cheddar I think so. on the oh, yeah. Green Bay Packers, on the cheese heads. 
put a little cheddar on the cheese it's head. You know cool, what I'm saying? Like maybe. that betting money is going to go to at least a decent cause, you know? Like Maybe. Is it going to go to a decent cause? Well, Where does betting money go? Yeah, well, to the people, the Indians. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess that's a decent cause. But, like, they're going to get taxed, and then, like, some of the money is going to go into, like, low-income homes in all California, all the counties. I guess that's Over, It was, like, 50-something counties Yeah, no, California. that's a good ca- That's a good cause. That is yeah, good exactly. Cause. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Like, that's a good cause. I guess it depends on how you take on that I shit. I thought they didn't, want to, they didn't want to have it go through because all the casinos will lose money. Well, that's why you vote yes or no. Yeah, but then, honestly... Fuck the tribe. I mean, they're rich already. They're still making money. You know they're what? just getting taxed now. Not, they're still rich. The, here's the, the thing. The, the tribes thing. suck, but I, there's a lot of I'm tribes not, that don't have no money. I'm going to say, I'm not going <laughs> like, to, I'm going to take no it back. Not, not, that's not unfortunate. fuck the tribes. There's only a couple. But here's yeah, the thing. It's unfortunate. Yeah, here's the thing. Not, but it's not already fuck the tribes. Like it's yeah. fucked up. But you can't have all the power, especially if you're limiting the shit in California. Well, you don't want to, you just don't want to do sports betting in California because you're not going to get the money. Well, people are betting anyways. Well, no give us what. an opportunity. Like, give it. What do sports, sports betting bet? just at the casino? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wouldn't you just put that in the casino? I think they do. There's, in no, Vegas, there's no. Yeah, but you can't go in Cal. Like the California Indians is what I'm saying is that California Indians don't want sports betting because it would take the money away from mm-hmm. the Indians, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, why don't they just fucking? Why don't they just do <laughs> sports betting in their casinos then? I don't yeah. fucking. Why not? Know. Why well, doesn't why doesn't do shoe match do that shit right now? I don't know. If they just did it, then nobody'd yeah. be even voting on this. Yeah, exactly. We're only voting because they aren't doing it right now. So like I bet you, you know, if anything, they'll probably start doing that shit to avoid. I would I would get a leg up on it. I would start right now. <laughs> They're a little too late. Shoe but, mash. Yeah. Shoe I'd mash. Start right now. I'd get a fucking bookie. <laughs> I'd get somebody in there. Just and hire I'd, a marketing team. Yes. Fucking and get some get like a room dedicated with screens. I'd be like, and, hey, fuck that prop. Fuck the money going back to California government. We're doing it now. If you need to bet, we got you. Yeah. If the fucking, I'd be okay. I'd be like, all right, say less, tribes. Who cares? Like, we're, say less. Yeah. As long as there's a, a way for me to do it. Exactly. Right now, yeah. there's no way for me to do it. So well, the easiest Kings, way man. seems bet, vote yes, and just get DraftKings on my phone. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like, if Chumash is willing to fucking jump on the trend, jump on it. Maybe yeah, I don't I need to vote on the. On you know. I don't know. Hey, not everyone's a good businessman, I guess. I mean, that that should have been a thing they should have been doing a long time ago. Just you would think, that, I mean, Vegas is it's the not like, capital of that shit. Because it's not like yeah. a, it's it's illegal to gamble in California. You it's can a, go to a fucking casino. So, like, yeah. Yeah. you can just do sports betting. It's in almost the obvious. Like, what, why why weren't they? Makes no sense like, to me. What, what was the, ever the holdup? I don't know. I mean. Laziness. Bro, like, it's time to it's adapt. Laziness. You know, what I mean? they're not evolving with the time. Yeah, you adapt or die. Like, yeah. come on, now. step up or step out. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Draft Kings is coming because they're different. It's like a different because once you're on that land, it's different. That's the only reason they could do it. So I don't know how. Like, there's some things like, like look how hard the UFC has to do has to fight just to like throw an event somewhere normal. They're like, fuck, we gotta go through all these. Reg- there's still shit. So like, I don't know what what the fuck. Aren't there like less it? regulations though on those lands? Yeah, but it they ha- control it. It's something weird. I know. It's I don't know. So they have homeboy just wanted to pop up and be like, "We do it now." That's it. That's it. Because how are you going to tax that and then tell what California you've been you gambling? You tax it in the California? same exact way you do the regular shit. Like, California, the like, rate, same like way everyone you do gambling. else has a business. You know, you just start doing it. Because the casino is just like start, a business where they just don't just have to start pay taxes doing on. It. It's like the, there has to be the some coolest business to be there. Because like, all the banks are on the on the on these on these tribe lands, aren't they? Because the bank, there's tribal banking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all, all, all. It's like a completely separate government. They run it all. So just do no, it. I know, but I don't know how to. I don't know what that is. Well, I'm not a financial advisor. Yeah, like we're probably getting over our heads on this That's topic. Not, but, but there's got to be a motherfucker out there who's fucking. But no, no, someone, someone has to tell me why they runs don't, with though, greenbacks. It should have been a good idea. A long That's, time that's ago. what we're trying to say. It's like, been, why yeah, hasn't like, it been like that? Like, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to figure out. I can't find a reason either. I don't know. It's just. I mean, maybe they just guys like we don't need it. We're rich as fuck. We got money. We don't need to. We don't need to do it. Yeah, but we don't. Then, we don't need to ra- okay. waste resources and time and energy. Yeah, for sure. On figuring this out. So we, you don't want to just be cool. Where but so you don't want to. You don't want to deal with it. So like, shut your fucking mouth when DraftKings tries to get legalized. Yeah, so I'm saying you're sitting here like, all right, we don't. We're good. We don't, we have enough money. We we're not. But gonna all this shit it. is new too. Like the whole mobile online shit. That's kind of new. It's kind of new. Like especially with gambling wise. Yeah, for sure. For sports. So yeah. Here's the thing. I'm also. But they should have been on ass. that shit since DraftKings came. Somebody probably been a threat then. Somebody probably see me and slap me silly and be like, "You don't know what you're fucking talking about." Or why don't they just look at Vegas? Vegas is doing. Somebody just look explain at their it. model. 
Yeah, take the Vegas model. Fuck it. There's is fucking, it copywritten or something? Like they're not. No, you can't no. do it because Vegas is doing it. Like, probably fucking Vegas uh, SOPs right now. You probably go go to Google and you could probably find out exactly how they're doing it. Yeah. Copy Caesar's Palace. Why not? Get a little bookie. Fuck it. Done. Boom. Fucking Co problem Caesar's solved. Palace. I'm betting. Bro, I'm out there. I'm betting too. You gotta go. You gotta bet. They got big ass. I'm gonna get myself a rusty nail. I'm gonna have some money. I don't smoke see anybody, three stoves in a really row. I too many winners. I just see a lot of people staring at the fucking screen. I just think. Like, <laughs> well, I, I can't understand how people will stay on slots for hours. Yeah. That is wild to me. I, here's the thing. If I, if I. You don't even know what's going on. Yeah, but you here's the thing. Push. If you bet got to $4, a in, bet $3. If you got to a point in your what? life where it's we're all sitting around, we got like. We got an extra 180 in the bank right now. We're just kind of, you know, we're not rich, but we're not like, we got money. An extra 180 in the, in 180 the grand. Go fucking I'm talking 180. Damn. No, and say, and say like, and say we're all chilling and <laughs> it's like, we're really plugging. And it's like, hey, <laughs> you know, they got that fucking fishing game, slot machine fishing yeah, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just any, I'm just speaking hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like, you know, they I got never, that. I never actually seen that. They got that the hunting, game, they got the hunting slot game. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and he'd be like, "Let's go, boys." They got the Alaska let's go hit, one. Let's go hit that. Yeah. Let's go hit the quarter. Let's go hit the quarter machine for fucking the quarter slots for fucking penny slots. Three slotted. and a half hours are going to bring us free drinks. It's insane. Let's, yeah, they do. Let's That's lose cool. track of time, and yeah. let's have our wives pick us up. I mean, it's I can see why it could be a little fun. I'd be like, "Let's but go, boys." I went. Let's do they this. got the a buffet ago, out there. Yeah, it's steak night. Steak night. It's steak night. They, got, they have concerts. Have wifey. And shit. Have, have girls drop. The girls are dropping us off at six. They'll be back at ten. They're gonna go do a little whatever. The yeah. gonna go do a little a little spa. Damn. We'll be out here. I might fuck around and smoke a little ciggy. I think they got a Starbucks in I there. I might even fuck around. I might walk out of there smelling like cigarettes. She's like, you smell like cigarettes? I'd be like, yeah, because they were smoking in there. It wasn't me, but honestly. You were smoking a couple I had stogies. A couple, I put a had a little stove, dude. <laughs> oh, you know, dude. I had a couple why, lights. Why not? You had I, I, bum I bummed it's a little the camel thing. light off somebody. Fuck Because, you know, I, I, I'm a little sensitive to tobacco <laughs> yeah, now, but. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I was in there, dog. You out there, bro. You were just doing. Let me get another mojito. Extra mint. Extra. I want to taste the mint in that mojito, you <laughs> motherfucker. Spit it back at him if it don't taste hey. minty enough. But. Hey. hey, I need an ashtray. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Catch me in there, 42 you years tip. old, dude. You didn't tip, bro. You just grabbed and walked away, huh? You're supposed to tip? I never have tipped there. See? I'm glad you told me now. That's why they don't come back after the first time. I'm glad time. you told me now. I thought it was just their job. Ah. <laughs> I'm, re I'm living this in my mind. Well, because not the fault and absolutely like not, I'm tipping. But because everyone pays, but I you will. get like a shoe match card and you put money on that card. Oh, it's a little, that's like a little arcade card. Yeah, and you just put it in the machine. No, nah, but they take regular tips, bro. No, I bet you, yeah, you pull out hey, cash shoe, you Hey, does shoe match give you some free money the first time you go? No, like 25 okay, bucks. No, no, but, but you put the card like $25. in and then you fucking Have we all been out to shoe match? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I've been. You've been there. Yeah, I already got my twenty five dollar. <laughs> you know who hasn't? Your boy. Damn. Your boy. Hey, oh. when they get DraftKings in there. So when they get the. <laughs> so when the gambling is up in there, let's go. We're we gonna have the girls drop us off. We might. We, we, we got a bomb we, ass restaurant. We might just vlog this out, dog. We might. Bro, I remember I had the first time I had jalapeno day, cheese thing. grits. Was Bro, that shit was delicious. Never had grits before at Shumash, and it was fucking. Did they have those at the? Would they have a? They have a buffet in there. They have what? a buffet, dude. I they knew got they did. Crab dude. legs. They I got. Knew they did. Just. It's yeah, not yeah, fancy as fuck, but it's like fancy ass. I remember the first time I had lobster was at a a, a buffet in uh, and uh, no, it was in Nevada though. So like, my family has a house in Sarahville, which is right out, right out, right outside of Truckee. I don't know, okay. you know where Truckee yeah. is. Like, I really don't. Way up, it's way up north. The closer to Reno. We're close to Reno. Okay. Yeah. So like, we we actually drove into Reno. From from fucking Sierraville, it's like an hour and a half drive. I heard Reno's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it probably was. I wasn't old enough to even really know. I was just there for the. Then it just it had a bunch of casinos and shit. No? So we like we the got out there. City they say is like a fun time. And bro. we hit that fucking buffet, dude. And boy, tell you what, honestly, how many lobster tails did you eat? Don't I lie. ate one. Is and here's the reason. At a buffet. No, here's the reason. I'm gonna you be very, I'm gonna three. be very honest. I don't know if I like the 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 process of getting to that lobster meat. The lobster meat's fine. Oh, they didn't even cut it like and pop it. Oh out no, of the shell? you get the whole fucking boy. 
You get the whole. You're getting the claws in the face. They you give you the whole it fucking the abdomen. Yes, they gave shit. me the whole damn thing. Whoa. So me and my family, my, my 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 grandpa and shit's hardcore to the fucking. So you needed like fuck. one of those crab like yes, crackers. Yes, he's all using that. the crab crackers and yeah. shit. And honestly, it was too much for me. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's I, it was for a shot here's for a the young thing. one. Yeah. There's parts of that body that you're not supposed to eat. It's disgusting. It's the fucking guts in the end. Don't eat and like shit. the head. Pretty they're much, like they're like don't touch that. You want to eat around. Yeah. And it's like you want you want like the knuckle in that tail, and, and it's one of those things where it's like if you if you know what's in the hot dog, you don't want to eat the hot dog. And I got I had to break open. The, <laughs> this looks like an underwater like, like preach. Dog. This looks like an underwater fucking potato bug. You just eat it. What? It's damn near what I'm looking. Like. They dude, are bugs. If you look at that bitch, it's a I, little gross potato can, bug looking motherfucker. Dude. It's nasty when you can, flip it oh, over. It's got all this leg. Dude, it's got like these weird it's got little a, mini legs yes. under its tail. It's got even. these antennas. Oh. It's like these feelers. What are the eyes? What are the eyes? Yes, dude. Oh. Like and then it's black mouth. And then its mouth is like this fucking thing that bubbles with whiskers on the motherfucker. Oh, it's. Nasty. <laughs> so here's the thing. I still tear that motherfucker up. I went in on some crab though, because crab. It crab looks. Bad. That's a bug too. But it's much easier. It looks more normal. The legs, because they don't give you. You gotta the, crack those fuckers. Though. I know, but they don't give you the body when you go get a crab. Unless I always it's soft thought, shell, right? I always thought about the body. That. There's no meat in it. There's no meat unless it's soft shell. So here's exactly, the thing. Yeah. When you go get crab legs, it's easy. You get the crab legs. Crack that bitch open. You and pull the pull meat it out. out dip it in some butter. Mm. It's but they're very really, easy. But they it's don't very taste. Small pieces they don't of taste meat. like uh, to me. They don't taste. They don't fulfill me. Like no, it's very. It's like loose. something else. It's just like it's not a big chunk of meat. You're just like mm, like it doesn't taste like. Like, I like a lobster now. Crab has a I like sweeter flavor roll. too. I like crab cakes. Those are fire. I like crab cake. I like lobster fire, roll. Bro. I just don't, unless, I don't like the process of lobster. When I have to do it like that. I'll eat a lobster, but I don't like the process. You, <laughs> you like the cracking it? I love cracking it. You, get, you even gotta get scissors and you yes, cut the top, that's a good to and then do. you crack and peel yeah, that shit, you and you pop that motherfucker the, up. The thing, and then you get yeah. Oh, with some butter. That's what we had to do. Butter? I couldn't do it. I'm dude. down for it. I'm with it. I love it, dude. I'll I, put the bib on. I, I'll make a mess, mind. bro. I was also maybe I like nine, to play with my ten. I could do it now. Y'all ever fuck with crab leg or frog legs? I have not. They have on the billiards. I I have had frog legs quite a bit. Good. I heard it kind of tastes like chicken. <laughs> it tastes just like chicken. Yeah. Which is weird because it's like, I guess that's the only thing to compare it to, but it tastes, tastes like chicken. My grandpa took me to this fucking, some type of Asian restaurant back in the day, Asian buffet, and they had crab legs, or uh, frog legs. Gotcha. And he would always fucking, he would always talk, love those frog legs. He's, he's like, like, they're fire. Hey, go, this is he, a- we would go for the frog, he's like, we're going for the frog legs. I just had a weird thought, like, so like, a frog isn't like a reptile, is it? Amphibian. It's amphibian. It's nothing related to. Is it a, amphibian? It's nothing reptile? related to a like a reptile, right? No. Just because like chickens are almost close to reptile? like a reptile, so it's like I'm thinking they kind of like similar animal. Is a frog a reptile? I think it's amphibian. Would you say? To You're probably right. Dude. District of Will County. Reptiles include snakes, turtles, and lizards, while amphibians include toads, frogs, and salamanders. So it's sal- That's like yeah, eating a folks. salamander. Ugh. <laughs> but it's not like eating salamander. Ugh, Have y'all ever been to Big Falls or Little Falls? Yeah. Yeah? Little Falls. Little Falls? Little Falls. You seen the salamanders out there? No. I There's little newts. The little salamanders. Oh, the newts? Yeah. California, the new- California newt. newt or California salamander. Those- they swim out there. Yeah. Oh, Dog, they're so cool. Yeah, those are cool, but the big ones. It feels like that. you're in a different yeah, world. They look you're poisonous to me. They do, huh? They look like you fucking. I think they, they have a world, small bro. amount of neurotoxin on them. I, yeah, do, huh? I didn't know that, but they look like. I believe they do have I'm a not small amount of neurotoxin. Raw, you know? No, you're not gonna eat a salamander. Like, because I think like Bear Grylls sometimes like I gotta survive. But if you look at a, I think like that. But if you look at a big ass frog, you're telling me that boy don't look delicious. A little delicious. It doesn't look gross. The legs don't look. It looks like a chicken wing. Looks like a big old. Looks like a green chicken wing. Yeah. Is it, so it's it. Where the fuck, they don't look where are we gonna fried. get some? Where are we gonna get some? The grossest thing is the leg. The, where, where, where the fuck are we? The grossest thing is that web foot. If I wanted it right now, go to the billiards. Go. I think it's called Hot, yeah, hot Shots and Pismo. Hot shots we're going to Pismo. Hot Shots and Pismo. They got it for sure. And then after that, we're gonna go to the shoe mesh. Well, that, well that's for a what? Lot of driving, dog. Well, it's the same. We could do the same. It's thing. like backtracking. You know what we should do? We <laughs> yeah. should do. We should do definitely do a vlog down in Pismo, and then afterward we could also hit Hot Shot or Hot Licks for the fro or the chocolate covered. Crickets, chocolate covered worm. That's a little wild, bro. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> bro. I'm just kidding. I've ate crickets. He said that's a little I've wild. I've ate crickets, bro. bro. I've, I've had crickets. It tastes it's, like a, it tastes it tastes like like a, kind of like a sunflower like seed a or, some shit. or something. Like a Kit Kat or something. I had, I did. I, I, had the, salty. I had the chocolate covered cricket one time. I went down there with my dad when it's he came gross. to visit. It's not gross. And it reminded, definitely reminded me of a Kit Kat. The crunch, huh? The crunch. 
Yeah. The grossest part though was that once you chew it up a little bit, you got a little leg in your yeah, teeth. Yeah, you get like yeah, it's like yeah, like oh. the shell of it or something. Yeah. Shit. Like, oh. it like a like a flake shell. The, no. the it's casing of its body. Yeah. Is yeah. Fucking. It's why like the a, fuck would you? It's almost that? like a kernel of a popcorn, <laughs> but like softer. Yeah. Yes, exactly. You're picking out oh. bug. <laughs> but you kind of had feel... that with cheese and avocado, and you just dip it <clears> in, <throat> put some fucking crickets on it, and just eat it like that. I used to work Could at a cooler, get... and this dude did that shit. And I was like tripping on. I was Could... like, dude, that shit's gross, bro. I love like, that yo. shit. He said, try. I'm like, not nah, try, dude. And I was like, right, Could you get down you. with it in Bomb. life if. Bomb. Could you get down. <laughs> <laughs> Could you get down with it? It was fire. If they some. Because because you know it's coming. They're, you know that they're starting to make food with with bugs. Ground. They're just. I know they're making like they protein go, bars. Yeah, they, they take some protein. Yeah, they'll take a bunch of cricket. They'll powder it's real, them. It's a real thing, but and it's a like, lot. It's of sustainable. Protein, yeah. too. It's, it's like, sustainable. It's a protein. hell of a amount of protein. Well, if, like if I needed to, and I seen a cricket somewhere, I'll fucking eat that shit. So would you eat bug? Like, yeah. If, I'll, if eat it became, I'll roast it a little bit. Exactly. I know. Pop exactly. it a little bit. If it became like a like a like a yeah, if right. it became a regular thing where it's like all right, you if I ever go on an adventure, pepper in the back. Get a little cricket chip. Cool ranch flavored cricket. Get like a little palm. Put some butter and some crickets in there. Could you see yourself getting down with the cricket? I can totally get down with eating a cricket, bro. What if you became friends? I mean, I've done cricket? it. I loved it. I mean, I I know, yeah, I know, bro, but like on a regular basis, you think you'd get down with it? I mean, that's not going to be my main cricket, course. I know, but what if it became, what if it had to? Like, what if, like what I'm saying is like, look, well, we're, 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 we're moving towards. Donnie a, wants to start a cricket farm, we're moving folks. towards. <laughs> we're moving towards a, a, a society where quite possibly we'll be eating. Would that be considered vegan? Lots of. Mm, I don't know. Would that be considered Who knows vegan? what they'd say about it? We should maybe ask honestly, and we, sh we should maybe ask your wife how she feels about she's eating not vegan. bug. I know, but she's fucking slightly and vegetarian. She used to be. No, she just did. yeah. I'm no, she, she just did for a while. She meat. wasn't like you, she you don't know. eat a lot of meat. Yeah, there you go. So, so like I'm, I would we, I think she's the closest like she's like person a, we could I ask she's right a now. Right? She she fucks with shrimp. She or fuck or with yeah, shrimp. she fuck y'all fish. What do you think about crickets? No. Uh, honestly, I mean, if you eat a fish, if you, you eat a fish, you eat a cricket. No, no shit, huh? No problem. Why not? I mean, that fish is smarter than a cricket. You think? I don't mind killing a fish. I don't, but I would. I couldn't kill a cow. I couldn't kill a goat. I couldn't kill a horse. I couldn't go kill my own cow. Like I'm so sorry, girl. I can't do this. I don't know. It's just different. I'll let you go. I'll fuck a fish up. I thought you. I thought you. I thought you were saying you were gonna fuck a fish. I'll fuck a fucking I'll, Kanye West gay I, fish style, dude. Easy killer, dog. Fill the fish, dog. Fill the fish, bro. Yo, fill that fish, baby. Fill the fish, baby. You ever touch a f dude? Yo, hit. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, dude. For some reason, I've been holding it this whole time. I started an episode having to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom. All you right. guys continue. Put the put the put the camera on you. Put while he the, walks out here, Matt. Put the camera on you, Matt. It is on. Oh, just solely on me. Solely on you, dude. Mike is gonna take a shit real Mike's quick. Mike's gonna folks. take a duty. <clears throat> dude, drop a luggage. Ha! Oh, drop, drop a luggage. Oh. Drop that log, baby. He's <laughs> gonna go shit a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see myself getting down. Now, here's the thing. Do you think? Could you see yourself eating something like? Yes. Like a. Here's the thing. <laughs> Say you're out there in the wild, right? Say you're out there and you fucking... This is totally hypothetical, but say okay. you come across yeah, a yeah. Sasquatch. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Would you be down to fucking eat like a Sasquatch? No. Too human? Nah. Nah, it's just... I feel like they're just dirty creatures. That's probably... You're probably hella dirty, rank. huh? I feel... I don't even know if I'd really want to eat a bear. You know, I heard bear is different. I don't think I want to eat an animal that eats other animals, even. You think it's... You think that's going to fucking make I it... I think so. But... Okay. I think so. I've never thought about. I it have like heard that. shit like that. Bear, where it's a different type. Probably of taste. You know what? Bear. I've heard bear meat. I heard wild meat is a lot. It's directly impacted by their diet. Yeah. Bear eats a lot of fish. They eat a lot of fish. They, they eat a lot, lot of berries. berries. But they'll eat, they'll also eat a deer. They'll also eat a little God. rotten they'll, deer they'll, too. They'll eat a fucking raccoon if it's there. They'll <clears> eat <throat> anything. What are you talking about? A bear. How do you think a bear tastes? Yo, bear probably tastes gamey as fuck. Yo, have you ever ate gamey shit? I've yeah. always wondered I've what gamey squirrel. means. I've had squirrel. You've ever had deer? Gamey. All, had, all gamey I've had is, deer, but, they, but oh, gamey. 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 Yeah, okay. It's a flavor. I, I understand. Yeah. yeah, like like wild game. But I, a lot of it is yes. like you got you to gotta fillet it right. You got to take off the silver skin. Yeah. It's, and it's, and it's, it's also got to be cooked right because the always got to take off that silver skin. Mike, you got, piss that quick? Yeah. Good I told for you, you, my friend. I had to take a piss, bro. Okay. I was like, yo. There it is. I don't want to deviate off track. I did eat the potato salad, though. I did. So. <laughs> we I did have some potato salad before this too. So we got a hungry about that. <laughs> that cricket's got them hungry. Dog. That cricket, yeah. dude, cricket it's, talk, bro. Yeah, the cricket talk. I mean, it gets a lot of people. Crickets are good. They're underrated. It, it could definitely be a, like a staple. 
I could see like having dry crickets in a bag instead of like no, but what like about, dried shrimps. Yeah, yeah, but what about the beer? I mean, yeah, the beer, dude. That'd be that'd be fire. I'm just saying, it's bro. like chili. Now, what lemon. do you think about like a Chewbacca? Yeah. A Chewbacca? Make like a Chewbacca. Like a, like a Sasquatch. What if people were eating Squatch? That's Whoa, what I'm saying. That'd be fucked up. They, they're like, Fuck. we found them because these fools are eating them. Oh hell no! Now, okay, well, okay, hell just real quick no. though. What's what's the theory on what their diet is? What do they eat? What does a Sasquatch eat? Quote unquote, like Berry. if there were something, Yo, I think a Sasquatch. What, what is it they no, eat? According to the experts, experts, according, this, according, according, according to the experts, to the experts I paid three nine nine for. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we remember. Hey, you paid. You paid more than us, so <laughs> yeah, you go. For, yeah, you, go, you, you got more intel. Yo, you definitely got the paid knowledge. They said there's like four different kinds or some shit like that for Squatch. Yeah, four different types of squatch or something like okay. that. And three of them are cool, and the other one are cannibals, and they fucking they don't like anybody. They'll eat people. They'll eat any people, other squatch. Now, is eating squat Okay, or another animal. That's how what many, they said. That's what the experts said. How many squatch do you think there's really out there? A, the, a, Multiple squatch? The, according to the experts, they're, they're all over the. What are the like, ancient globe. astronaut theorists? A couple yeah. hundred, yeah, ancient astronaut theorists. <laughs> they're, no, they mainly show up in, in, uh, they got a few, in national parks. You think like a few hundred? Yeah, they're always in national parks. Um, I don't know. Uh, Give me a ballpark, Mikey. I don't fucking know. Would you okay? Would you say under a hundred? No, like maybe like a, couple, under a thousand. Couple, no, cut like maybe I don't fucking know. Two, Did you give me numbers. I don't even know. I'm gonna I'm throw one out there. Just throw one out there. Yeah, hey, 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 I know. For you, t- you paid. Bro. I got certified for three hundred. I know. You know like, certification. You, you, know what you should have a little bit. Of, should have a, cl- a close number. There's probably like seventy five hundred out there worldwide. No shit. That's yeah. an educated guess too, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Educated. That sounds like super, a fair guess. That's super educated. Seventy five hundred. You think a lot of them are in Asia? Yes. Okay. I thought that it was makes a North America thing. I didn't there's American squatch too. There's some in California. I don't too. think this North. I don't think. Yeah, there's North American squatch up north. Well, think about it. Humble, where, where, Santa where, Cruz area. Where are all the the mountains at? Right here in California. I feel like they'll be in the, Santa you go Cruz. Go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, Humble, Santa there, Cruz yeah, area. There, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You go yeah. up north. You get there at their Pacific, the coastal. Yeah, like they get the coastal Washington. Washington. I guarantee you, there's a squatch in Washington. Portland area. I'll be damned if there wasn't. Dog. <laughs> I don't rain, believe in it, but in I, that rain with all that. Just, now, what wood? about that? We talked. I don't know. We, we talked, talked about, about this. this. We talked about we this. Did, we did. You know what I'm saying? Cryptoids and shit, dog. We talked about Loch Ness. Who, who believes in it? Cryptids. Uh, Cryptoids. <laughs> I don't believe in crypto. <laughs> hey, did anyone see the podcast with uh, Joe Rogan and Eddie Bravo? With the Loch Ness. No. They talk about Loch Ness. It was a good one. Did Eddie Bravo Loch- is a conspiracy fucking guy. They talk about Loch Ness? Yeah, no, yeah, I know, but what is like, is uh, it the Loch Ness or no? No, they didn't talk about no Loch Ness. I'm just saying, Joe. Oh, then I'm good. Man, I want to know about Loch Ness. I need to know about I need the Loch Ness. I I heard Joe Rogan talk about Loch Ness, and he even got to the point where it probably used to exist. It no longer does. And, there, and there's a name, but it's like called something Epithemus. I just want them to get to the and bottom. And they found of like shit. a body of what a Sasquatch is. They literally found a body of what it would potentially be. Oh, we're be. talking about Loch Ness right now. Oh, Loch Ness. Oh, what Loch. the fuck? <laughs> I'm talking about the I Loch, Loch Ness, bro. Oh, yeah. Fuck, it's all fake. It's out there in Scotland, <laughs> dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The Scots have it. The it's Scots. all fairy tales, dog. You think Patty Pimblet seen it? You think there's a Golden Grail somewhere? Yeah, probably. Oh, my Patty, God. The Patty Pimblet has it. Do you oh, think there was ever a. You think there was ever a. Is that what the, is that the Holy Grail? A golden grail? I don't think so. I think I'm thinking more isn't it? It's like remember some Indiana like, Jones? fucking uh, knights of fucking Remember Indiana Jones when they find Ra- the Holy Grail? Of Ra- Arthur or something. You think Raiders. there's a whole, you think there's a Holy Grail though that Yo. Jesus drank out of somewhere? Probably. Ch- so chalice. Hidden, it's hidden probably a badass chalice somewhere that's bad as fuck. How much shit you think is undiscovered? Jesus what y'all think chalice. about the tomb? I think everything's undiscovered nah. till you discover it. I got a real bro. question right here, bro. I really gotta know. What? How do y'all Feel about the pyramids? What do you think that shit is? Uh, Ancient aliens. The pyramids Astronaut is, theorists suggest you think it's the pyramids aliens is, is some type of aqua, some, some type is of good as mine. some type of energy. Uh, it's a circuit. It's a circuit. Some type of energy. I think the world's like a circuit board because there's also producer? like the Mayan calendar, or, uh, not Mayan calendar. The Mayan pyramids are it's shaped like a in a way. Like yeah, it's almost like they were dis- they were placed. They never, yeah, because they never found no body up in that bro in the in the big the Great Pyramid. They never found a body. They never found nothing. Nothing. Like you know how fire would be to actually go to get to go inside, bro. No, no, but wait, because I, I don't think you get I, to go inside. But you am I wrong on this? It. Am you I wrong on this though? It. What about King Arthur's sword? You think that's a real share? Was that a made up story? Like in a stone? Oh, I don't know, dude. Was it really in a stone? And someone pulled that shit out. That'd be fire. Who pulled it? But how, was that a fake sword? Was that just a fucking? It sounds fake. Was yeah, that like remember, Shakespeare? Y'all seen the sorcerer? No, I was like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sorcerer's Stone, that movie back in the day. Yeah, they said Merlin was Merlin. Merlin. The only accounts they have of Merlin. And they don't the know, wizard, but, yeah, the wizard that they thought he was a wizard because he was like a fucking, um, he was like one of those dudes that that was in the woods all the time. What do they call him? 
those people that live in the woods. A druid. Like a druid type dude, right? And Fuck he, trees he had, and shit. Yeah, I don't know. He, had, he probably he had communication <laughs> with uh, <laughs> the Sasquatch and shit. The Sasquatch? I swear to God, that's the only account they We're have. Going of, back, of, bro. Yeah, of them. King like, Arthur's got ties to Sasquatch. Like that's we used to talk to UFOs and Sasquatches and shit. <laughs> remember that's the Black he didn't really Knight? Have, I don't think he really had some. Oh, you remember oh. the Black Knight with Martin Lawrence? Remember I that? Did. I love that movie. <laughs> that movie is so funny, dude. That was fire, dude. He works at like a fucking the LA. He like works at fucking the Renaissance fucking place in LA where you go and watch fucking big ass people joust and shit dude i want to do that i swear to everything i've been talking bro. about it i want to go out there i want to go not a long time I've it's done right it across the street from not Berry. no i didn't joust but i went to I one of those jousting yo bro. let's go to the fucking renaissance thing in la yeah i've been to that one in, exactly in one in LA. let's go it's there's ren cool. fairs in the local there's local ren fairs we could dress up <laughs> <I'm Ren>. not <laughs> dress up. <laughs> we're not talking about renaissance fairs uh Bro, <laughs> never mind. Into, dog. Never mind. Dog. I'm not here to pass judgment on your lifestyle, bro. That shit's tight, bro. Y'all ever seen <laughs> yep. the Love on the Spectrum? Dude, no, I, I haven't. But I heard they I heard were out there. I heard it was good. I was out there. I've heard great things fair. about it. It's excellent. It excellent good. television. Really did, yeah. <laughs> Very good television. Yo, I've been watching that prequel to Lord of the Rings. I told you guys last time. Well, yeah, no, you. Yo, didn't. I've been watching that, I but I heard about it. Deep. It's sick. It's prequel to all that shit, bro. It's childproof. Any help? Hey Matt, you've been watching that prequel to the uh, Game of Thrones? Though? No, I don't need help. I I didn't finish it. Was it was it not good? It, it kind of bored me. You gotta push. It kind of bored me. Oh, shit. You well, you gotta <laughs> fucking give us more of a breakdown, dog. What was it about? Because you loved Game of Thrones, yeah. Yeah, it's about the Targaryens. It's about the Targaryens and and how the Mad King became the fucking king and their family. Like only the Targaryens can control the dragons, so it's gonna explain. I think. It's this theory that they're going to explain why the Targaryens can't control the dragons. Oh, really? They can the ride Targaryens? them. The Targaryens? Yeah. That's what the Mad King was. That's this what the bomb-ass bitch in the fucking Game ever. of Thrones, the, the girl with the white hair, she was a Targaryen. Uh, she's the only one that controlled the dragons. Bro. What, Freya? I don't think that was her what, Who's Freya? Freya. I don't fucking know. I don't know. You yeah. tell me, Donovan. Who's Freya? There's this game called Multiverses. Ooh. What's where you, you can play as like Shaggy, or you play as Finn oh, from I like seen Adventure that. Time, or you yeah. play as like the Iron Giant, or you play as fucking LeBron James or some shit. But it's like, but names. it's like Super Smash Bros. with all those people. No shit, I seen people playing real quick, a little bit of gameplay, but it looks pretty dope too. And, the, and there's one character that's from Game of Thrones, and I thought her name was Freya. I think that might. I don't know though. I mean, I only watch. You one ain't time. a real fucking. I'm, I'm not, not a real fan, bro. I'm not a fan. What are you a real fan of, bro? <laughs> I watched it because I was bedridden for a while, dog. <laughs> I had time. Dog, I got really into Hunter x Hunter. You told us. You were all about Hunter Hunter. I mean, this is I like the, the fifth time we heard about it. I bought the socks. I bought the... Bought it all, bro. It's the fifth time I heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> you Yu Hakusho? I love Yu Hakusho. I've been really into it right now. Who's your favorite character? Off the top. Eh, Yusuke is probably my, my favorite. Hell, okay, okay, better question. Everybody loves Yusuke. Who's your favorite character besides Yusuke? Um, Who? I would go with just uh, Hie, obviously. He's pretty cool, dog. Bro. He's like the Vegeta. He's the Vegeta of fucking Yu Hakusho. He is like the Vegeta. As Yusuke has got to be fucking Goku, you know what I mean? Um... He's the like the villain good guy. You're giving me nothing right now. Well, I'm drawing a blank. I mean, I think Koenma's funny. I think he's. I think it's funny to watch his. Oh, the, him, the, he's like the 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 the, the baby. Yeah, the baby. And then he's he like grows the, up a little bit during the dark. He controls the afterlife and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's funny to watch. But uh, no, who the f I'm drawing a blank, dog. A redhead. Oh, uh, Chris Sabat. Damn, I'm blanking too. He's the fox, though, right? No, oh, the guy you can fucking make the energy sword. Get oh, bigger. Kurabara. Kura, Kuabara. Kuabara. Yeah, Kuabara. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I think he's funny. I, I like Kuabara. I think he's genuinely he, like. You know what he has? He has spunk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. He's not the baddest, but he's nah. got a heart. He got a heart like he's a motherfucker. Heart. Like all the heart. And all he's about is like. <laughs> He's about that shit, dog. And, and Honestly, he has he's like about a code. He shit. lives by a code. Like, but he's, fuck, I will but never he's back a, down. But he's about it. I will it. never turn on my homies. That, like he's just about his shit. Yeah. Damn, he's that one guy that you're like, damn, kick it, dog. And Almost. He's like, fuck it. But no, he's a leader like that. He's a leader like that. You know, he's, he's cool. He's cool as fuck. Um, but it's yeah, I've been, I've been enjoying it. I haven't got too far into it. I'm right now in the middle of the Dark Arts tournament. What? The hey, Dark Arts tournament, it's like it's 33, honestly, 34 episodes. That's in. my favorite series out of it all. It's fun. Uh, two, uh, 
Because there's more seasons of shit, but that's my favorite. Too bad. I can't remember fucking homeboy's name, but he I can't can, like, even manipulate his anything. fucking muscles and shit. It's pretty gnarly. Tagoro. <laughs> Tagoro. That's my yeah. favorite villain, dude. That motherfucker right there, dog. Yeah, it was crazy. He huh? levels up in the end. Because the think... last fight, yeah, he goes beyond even what his capabilities were. He he levels up more, what and he, it's insanity. What would he do? That's all he does. Because you, you, you think Kuwabara kills him. And Dang. then it and then it, it doesn't end up like that. I'm gonna tell you right now, no. But that's because I no, don't think no, I'm that, the it. first time, the first time, yeah, cool bar, and then but because he, he stopped him because uh, they tricked the him. Yeah. yeah, and then he just like, he, but then he shows up and he's like, because you skate fucking like faked him out, and then that's when cool bar came in and stuck him, stuck him, stuck him. They're like they planned that shit like a pig, <laughs> stuck him like Jesus a pig, Doug. baby. But uh, I'm also like 49ers fan, die hard, locked in, baby. How, how die hard. How that hard are you? Dude, Remember you last time? Last Anybody time we talked, it won't ever. It won't ever stop. Last time we talked, what? Ten and we were seven. All about ten and seven and Trey Lance. Ten and bro. seven. How and you feeling eight, about your boy? Ten and seven. Trey Lance still. Ten and seven. Ten and seven. Ten and seven. Okay. I gotta have to disagree. With ten and seven. Sound good. I gotta have to disagree though. Trey Lance. Trey, I don't think. I don't think anybody. Think Trey Lance is it. I don't think we saw. I. I think he played better than Matt Stafford did on his first game. Oh, tell me about it. On on the on the first game of the season, dude. Bro, Stafford. I don't know. I think he played better than Matt Stafford did. Matt Stafford did three interceptions. Yeah, I seen that. Hey, but so did Joe Burrow. But Joe Burrow ain't gonna be. I mean, I'll take Joe Burrow. I Joe know, Burrow threw four I, interceptions. Look, oh my look, God. this is four. Where I'm at. I know this is where I I'm didn't at right now. Though, watch it. We don't know. We have no fucking idea. But we're... you can see the yardage, and you can see. I think your boy threw what one sixty four. Not that great, dude. It's not, not that, that bad. <laughs> not that <laughs> great. Not that I'm okay with it. No, no. I, think we're, I think it's going to be a good season. To be a good quarterback, you got a minimum throw like two to 250. That's like good. To be great, you got to do like 300. I think we're disregarding other people. I think we're disregarding a lot of great quarterbacks first years in the season or first years in the league. I, I, I'm not. I, I, yeah, for sure. He's going to be great. I believe he could be great, but not, I think, not this season. I think this season we go 10 and 7. I don't think Yo. <laughs> All right. I think Yo, this season we go 10 and 7. I'm not, hey, I don't want to be a hater. I want to bring Nate to this fucking positive it's world. It's okay. It's okay. But... I'll, ta- I'll take all the heat we can take. I'll take all the <laughs> I'll take... heat. I'll take all the heat. I take it all, bro. Hey. I'm a Niners fan, baby. I take it all every time. You better die by them, bro. 10 Fuck and yeah. 7. Dude, you're talking them up. 10 and 7. 10 and 7. 10 and 7. Okay, I think it's we're not unrealistic. I think 10 we're ten and seven with the all, with the Pro Bowl. Quarterback. Here's the thing, ten and seven. You're not a Pro Bowl quarterback. Here's the thing: if Jimmy starts week six, we go ten and seven. If it doesn't Jimmy matter. I don't six. think it matters any way this fucking season plays out. Ten and seven minimum. You think Trey Lance can win ten games? I know. I don't think Trey Lance can win ten games. But the the, the narrative right now is everybody thinks Jimmy G starts week six. But okay, yeah, okay. If Jimmy G does it, yeah, I Dude. think I think Jimmy can win. We're 10 talking, games. About, we're not talking about Trey Lance. We're talking about the Niners. I was talking about Trey Lance because that's who you guys are trying to be with. It's, you guys but, are trying to but trade. It's the, guys but it's to Jimmy G. Them. But it's the Niners. It's think, not just. I think Trey the Cowboys Lance. are going to take him. I think we go ten and seven with Jimmy G, and we're going to watch. It's going to be a good oh. season. But Jimmy G, I, I'll follow. Damn, that one. I'll, I'll follow about that to watch one. your guys' games all stupid. I'll watch. You're going to have to watch two of them. I know. You'd be locked in on two of them. We're going to win. The, we play you guys twice as well. I, think. I know we're gonna win. The Rams are gonna win. Yeah, the Rams are gonna win. You know why? Because we're, we're that unorthodox. Because you guys team. proved it last year. I uh, always win. Yeah, I think you guys are. <laughs> we always I think win. You guys are missing Von Miller big time. I think you guys Fuck. beat us last year. Too. Yeah, dude. And yeah. that fool went for two sacks too against. I think you guys are missing I mean, Von Miller. He's looking good time. on the Bills. Why the fuck did that even happen? Same thing with the Broncos. We this just whole didn't season pay is gonna be interesting. This whole season is gonna be interesting. Gonna be fun to watch. It's like pay this man if he's doing his job. Pay this man. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he we let him man. go to you guys, and it was just a bad move for us. You guys, fuck. He fucking murder for you guys. Von Miller's a difference ma- difference maker, man. For as old as he is, too. And I don't want to. It's his play of style. He he's a contortionist. He, he likes to fucking get under, you know, that right tackle. He just fucking he knows how to like duck and keep speed. How tall is he? He's probably like how much s- that boy weigh? He's probably like six. Von foot. Miller. Von Miller's pretty fucking tall. Huh? He's six, like six, 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 three, six, three ain't that fucking tall. Not for the NFL. Maybe six. Those, oh. They're they're pretty fucking tall in the NFL. They're like, like six, six five. Probably like six, six, six five built. But no, linemen's are big. Like right tackles, they're all like six five, he's six, 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 three. Yeah. <laughs> six three. And he's going against like six six players. Big six dude. three two fifty. So he goes under their arms, huh? He kind of jukes and he goes under them. He contortions down. So like when you guard him, you have to like almost push down. 
but he's fast, so it's like it's hard. Oh, I know what he does. He he, he like ducks. he like ducks down and then yep. goes, oh, and runs. And on. Yeah, yep. and then takes off. Oh. It's like he's like jumping in the water almost. Oh shit! It's fire, bro. He has a bad style. Damn, that fool's fire then. Shh, Hall 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 <laughs> I mean, he's the reason why we won our Super Bowl. Is that he, what? He's the fucking reason. He fucking murdered Cam Newton. Who's do okay? Okay, murdered <clears> him. <throat> All right. I know about he was the team. MVP of the Super okay, Bowl. We know, shit. we know about the Broncos. We know about the Niners. We know about the Rams. But who's really who's the shit? If that not like if you're not looking at your own team, who who are you looking at? I'm looking at Vikings. I'm looking at why? Well, obviously Buccaneers. Why? I don't know shit. You gotta tell me. Uh, I don't know I just, shit. I don't know. I don't know. It's, for, it's just the first game, bro. But they look good. I mean, shit. All right, they got their D together. Josh oh, Allen shit. is probably my favorite. Buffalo Bills this year, I think are gonna take it. The Bills? The Bills. Shout Bills to, are scary, I man. think the Bills are going to do it all. Shout Josh out to Allen's Bills. a stud. Josh Allen, their quarterback, is a fucking hell of... He's the next quarterback. He's the new He's the new guy. He's the new Patrick Mahomes. He's the new Joe, new Joe Burrow. He's the guy. That's my take. He's the man. <laughs> Yo. I watch every... I, I try to... I honestly keep up with a lot of fucking teams. I keep up with a lot of teams. I got uh, Justin I Herbert. With mine, I got Justin Herbert in oh, my for fantasy football team. So he's a beast of a I'm gonna watch guy. him a lot this season. But they lost. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Ellen. Who the fuck is Justin receiver. Herbert? And who's he Keenan? playing for? Keenan Ellen. He fucked really? up his hamstring, dude. <laughs> really? So he's gonna be out for a couple. I think like two months. They said. Uh, the Dolphins. I'm gonna watch the Dolphins this season a lot because Mike McDaniel went over there. He was our offensive coordinator. Uh, that guy's a fucking genius when it comes to creating offensive play designs and uh they have Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill over there. Tyreek Hill's a beast. Not to mention they have Raheem Mostert at running back. That's the fastest team right now in the NFL. Period. They have the fastest offensive weapons in the NFL and we saw Tyreek fucking put on the burners. We saw Jalen put on the burners last week. I think week. they're going to be fun. It's going to be a fun team to watch. It just yeah. kind of comes down to with a lot of these teams unfortunately is like you put a fucking all-star crew around these people but the quarterback is the question it's like can tua produce which is the same question we have in, in the fucking in san francisco the san Fr the here's the thing dude the 49ers <laughs> no, here's the thing give it to me dude dude, the, fuck, God dude damn. bro the 49ers are a playoff ready team uh -huh. okay if yeah. you have a quarterback that can just produce even a little bit exactly okay. that's the only okay. fucking problem dude jimmy g's in there not the greatest fucking I thought quarterback. Jimmy G was your guy's your guy. He was our guy for the past few he years. He was your guy, but, but it was Jimmy the G, team around him. Not the greatest quarterback. The three seasons he's really played, he's got us into the playoffs damn near. It, well, it got us to Super Bowl once, got us into the playoffs uh the second time, and, and then the third time he wasn't really he played half the season and it was he just brought us back. It was uh you know, he I won every that. game that yeah, season. Nice. Every great quarterback has a receiver. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well we've got you guys have great receivers. <laughs> Your guy can't give it to him. That's Not your at all. quarterback just ain't. And our it. defense is top five. Period. Mm -hmm. Top yeah, five. That's great. Dude, we held Justin Fields to negative twenty yards the first the first half of that game. Yeah. Justin Fields could not do anything. It was literally minus yards. yards. Hey, he Justin was, Fields looked good that game. Second, though. the second half. He looked good. The second half. Hey, he did. I bet you the coach was like, he hey, looked hey, he looked good. Hell yeah. But the thing is, our it was our defense that gave away that game. They had 10 fucking penalties on the defensive side. Gave up 115 yards. One of those fucking touchdowns was a gimme because Javon, I don't know, I think it was Javon Kinlaw, held on a third and 14 or something that we fucking, we should have stopped him. It, it was, and that's the game of football. A third and 14? <laughs> no, that's the, that's the game of football. It's Bro, like, you know, happens. little mistake happens. Little mistakes it's a can, can make a T. It's exactly. It's little always, mistakes can, can make the difference. Shit always fucked up inside the 15. But. And penalties will fuck Again, you that, up. The 49ers right now are playoff ready. Put a fuck. You put Kirk Cousins on the 49ers. We're one of the scariest fucking teams in you the guys NFL will right now. Decimate with Kirk Cousins. We are we are one of the scariest fucking teams in the NFL. You give us Mitch Trubisky, nah, I'd even that's say a, that's a little much. Ah, uh, Mitch Trubisky can. Have you seen his touch though, dude? You know that guy that. can drop fucking dimes. I All think you, you need... guys could do good with even what's that dude that uh, the 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 Tennessee team has? What's his um uh, Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill? I yeah. think you guys could be a BC with I'm saying him. Is, is we just need somebody who can deliver. The, we have a play action. We have a play action style offense. We need somebody who can get that ball out quick and fucking accurate. We switched a our play whole action off, style. We no, we switched our whole offensive scheme to to be geared more around Trey Lance, who is a 
uh, mobile, can kind of get outside of the pocket quarterback, and who has a deep ball. So our play action passes, our, the play our ball. play action, the plays that we run now take a little bit longer to actually manifest. But like, I don't know, bro. I don't know if it was the right move. I think we had a really successful offense with a, a, a quarterback like Jimmy G, somebody who is just quick release, get the fucking ball into somebody's hands and let the receiver do the rest. It's going to be interesting to see, man. 10 and 7. 10 and 7. That's all I got. What, what you, 10 you, and 7, that's not good. It's, it's that's, okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's I mean, not, it's not great. It's not 13 and 4, dude. It's not 14 and 4. I don't, I don't think any team's going 13 and 4. And it's going to be a tough year. It's going to be an interesting year. I'm excited for it. Me too. So, so far, looking good. Even though we lost, everyone loses. Okay, what about... Okay, I, let me ask you some. I'm just going to say it because we got a lot of fans out there, okay? Some of those fans... Can't believe I'm doing this. Some of those fans are Raiders fans. Tell me about the Raiders. <laughs> Tell me about the Raiders. You the talk Raiders to, you are even gonna, talked about the Cowboys. The Raiders are going to be... The Raiders are going to be good if they can put it together. That's it. They got a great team. They got a great team. It's what another, about... It's, they're in a position where they're Super Bowl... They're playoff ready... Right now, right now, they just are that that organization for so long has been a fucking, it's a joke. It's been a it's been rough, it's been rough, and it's like if it's not they got that badass stadium. Well, it, but here's the thing: if it's not like sick. if it's not the players shooting them in the foot, it's their coaching, it's, it's the their owners. their head, their the the or the head fucking. I don't know. It's like John Gruden came in and and fucked. Fucked every draft pickup that one year. Had like three first round picks, so many. and every single one of them are either they, 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 they got, got rid of Khalil cut. Mack. Remember, like, yeah, they bro. Got so many picks. So it's like they 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 nothing. just shit the bed, dude. They've they've had really bad luck with the coaching and like the management. They got some good players, even as they. I mean, Devontae Adams is a beast. Gnarly. They got fucking What's Devontae, Devontae Adams, Adams is gnarly. He's best a, receiver in the NFL. Well, what yeah. the fuck? Why Him and Justin Jefferson, then? I'd say. My guy's talking shit if he's the best receiver in the NFL. That doesn't mean much, though. I mean, you can be the best receiver. You got to get him the ball. You do. You got to get that you know, the ball. It's not even... Dude, you could you could have 180 yards a game, but if you don't win that fucking game... He went was, He went for 148. He did, he yeah. He didn't win. It was a big game, but it, it, no win. So it's like, what? It, stats are stats, man. You fucking go down as the best receiver, but accolades are going to fucking speak. I don't know. I, I still think Cooper Cup's the best in the Cooper game right Cup, now. Huh? It's hard to, it's hard I think to argue he's, right he's now. He's still the best right now. Cup it's hard to nuts, argue. Dude. He's Yo, insane. What about the Cowboys? Uh, Dak uh, Prescott they, got they, injured. Yeah. Oh, dude. I don't know, dude. NFC lease, man. I don't Michael know. Michael Parsons looked great. I mean, he looked pretty good. Yeah, the defense is killer. All right, Studs. so. Yeah, I, I got to take a piss, and honestly. Yeah, go for it. What are we at? How far are we in? 57. I'm gonna fill Matt in on some uh, MMA real quick. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, go All for right, it, dude. Bro. I don't know. Yo, I'm not a one thing. So what did what's the did you watch any of the fights this last week? I didn't watch not a thing. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go into some brief MMA talk while we wait for our boy to take a shit, handle the vandal <laughs> scandal. So, <clears throat> so break it down. What's good? What? Hamzat Chmaev, the dude that I like, know who he is. Okay, he was supposed to fight. Nate Diaz. It's supposed to be Nate Diaz's last fight, mm -hmm. right? Tony Ferguson was supposed to fight. Um, oh man, what's his name? Yeah, I'm already forgetting your name, bro. Like you keep losing. Um, real cool guy. I like his style. Kung fu guy. Talks a lot of shit. Um, anyways, last minute, Hamzat misses weight. Boom. They they switch it out for Tony Ferguson. Tony Baloney Ferguson. Mm. Tony Baloney's been on kind of a losing streak. Dope ass fighter. He was one of the best in the division like a, a few years back. He just kind of like lost his way, he got older, you know, shit like that. Right. So they matched him up. Fucking Nate chokes him the fuck out, like second or third round. I don't know what the fuck was happening. Something like that. Okay. Chokes him the fuck out chokes very out. easy. Even, even, even flexes that camera. It was pretty dope, dude. He won that round. No, he won the fight. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, he won the fight. So. The whole thing is, is Nate going to stay and fight for the UFC? Because he said he'd only stay if he if the UFC gave his whole camp contracts. Right. And if they don't, then he's going to go on. He's going to start his own fighting division or federation, whatever the fuck they call it. And then he's going to fight in that. He has money to do that? He has the following and the and probably the dough too now. Sure. Yeah. 
So it's just a big old thing, and like you got to really know uh, Tony Ferguson. You got to know Nate Diaz. How much? How much? Like okay, just for example, how much it's money? How much money did Nate Diaz make on that fight? He probably made a mil. One yeah, million dollars. Like and what does he want to make? Does he ever say? Well, well boxers make, make like. No, I'm not talking about like boxing. I'm load. talking about just in the middle. I don't right know now. what he wants to make, but they're paying other yeah. people that that actually a mil's a lot in UFC. That's a lot. Yeah, that's like that's like you made it, bro. Yeah, okay. For your last fight, that's a good fucking. And that, check. But, but he's saying that's not enough. No, he's saying that he wants he wants uh not only is it not enough, but he wants his whole crew, everybody who trains with them, to get UFC contracts. Because I'm just wondering, I'm just I because I don't know anything. But he leaves, he starts his own club or whatever. Yeah. And he starts fights doing pay per view. I'm assuming, maybe get on ESPN or some shit. Yeah, he was gonna so, do, he's gonna do yeah. something like that, right? Yep. What's he gonna pay his fighters if he if no one's watching it? Let's just say only his followers are watching it. it might be what five million followers. See, I don't know. See, I feel like UFC is still bigger. I think that you're right on that. I don't think they got that far, but enough people would watch it and enough people would follow it. And they're doing jujitsu, boxing, MMA, and something else like grappling or some shit like that, like regular okay. like wrestling or something. And then so it's, they what what's the what's the what's the best fights what are the best like style wise what are the fights but, that people want to see but he was i think he was just bluffing to get all his whole crew because his, his crew's bad as fuck everybody that he trains with is sick as fuck the, then the how best they're style not getting, how come they're not getting millions because it's hard to get it don't like, sound like they're that great like how you gonna how you gonna get in the nfl if they don't even get you a shot at the draft some people just nfl just takes they're no. like we don't need to see shit just come on well, a lot of times they just do undrafted exactly exactly but they but they're in the he's NFL. trying to get them undrafted well it is what it is that's his terms i don't know i don't fucking know but he does train with some killers all around. They're not making money in the XFL. They're not. No one watching that shit. But that's where you know that all no the killers are at. It. That's where the sharks are at. I don't <laughs> think so, dude. The XFL, hey, they're fucking flipping and shit. Dude. I don't the, think the so. The whole thing was, is everyone loves watching him and everyone loves watching Tony Baloney because they're both those fighters that just leave it all in the cage. Like, what, whatever happens, they just, they, they fight like, like this fool, fuck in the middle of the fight. This fool, uh, like one to him, stepped over to the cage and was like breathing on the cage. And then when the fool walked up to him, he kicked him. He's like, he's all breathing on the cage. He fucking. They just do like they. I feel like they, 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 they estimate both, that they, they made around six hundred grand. Yeah. See, <clears> why? Why? Why, why do you think WWE is so popular? They're both the most entertaining fighters ever. Why do you think? Well, just real quick. Why do you think WWE is so great? It's entertaining because it's it's. Boom. Yeah, it's entertaining. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're selling. So why, like, that's probably a problem that Dana has to go through when he sees fighters that can't talk shit or they don't, they don't bring in sales. They're not making the fight seem juicy. They're not making it personal. Every it the, doesn't okay. sell, huh? The, no, 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 no. Conor McGregor is a fucking beast behind the mic, bro. The the not only was the okay the last fight, right? That's why he the made a lot of money though. Not only that one, but the one before it with Hamzat. With the, I'm sure there's the better substitute. fighters than McGregor, but I'm just saying. Even them with the substitute, dude, they they all talk shit. They have the best highlight reels. Tony Baloney, fucking um, Hamza and Nate, and what's his name? Uh, Holland. The, yeah, Holland. Uh -huh. Dude, Holland's a shit. He got he got manhandled. Got manhandled. Got manhandled. It's crazy. Bro. Yeah. Does that ever drop your pay? No. Uh, no, but now his stock. I mean, honestly, I don't think his stock even moves a little bit because he just took that fight. Kevin so what are they complaining about? What if they decided to pay him less if he loses? Would that be fair? To, what are you like? Are we talking about Diaz? Or just anyone, any UFC fighter? Yo, there. It, would not, it be fair to pay them less if they lose? There's win money. I mean, you make more if you win. Okay, I think you do. So like fight bonus. It it, it just you comes down get to fight of the night. It comes. But down it would never happen. Like if McGregor lost to Diaz, you think Diaz made more money that fight? He did lose to him. He did lose to him. Did, do you think no. Diaz made more money than McGregor, though? No. No. But it's how you market. It's how you... It's a contract that it's you sign. It's a market. Everybody's shit, got a different bro. contract. It's fucking a business, dude. It's crazy. It's wild. It's... Yeah. And that's what... I think that's what's hard for them people to understand. Like, you, like, like what Ronda Rousey even said. Like, she was on... Like, she was paid because she was... Like, people were fucking paying to watch that shit. People wanted to see that It's a high draw. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Thing. Unfortunately, you know, life ain't fair. But yeah, shit. That's why I'm saying, like, you could start another league, Diaz. But 
I don't think you're gonna do great. The, the money, UFC. the yeah. money. I hope so. The Prove money me wrong. There. Prove me wrong. But it's other. I mean, I watch fuck. other leagues that they're they're good. They have good fighters, but it's not the UFC. And they're not watching it. Really, they're just. Right? I think he was bluffing it. Unless you're like a huge fan, right? Like a huge buff, like you guys. You guys will watch it. But the person like me who doesn't really watch it, if I were gonna watch, I'm gonna watch a UFC fight. I'm not gonna watch. I don't even know the other ones are called. Like I don't fucking know. I watch UFC. I know UFC. I don't even watch it. I know it though. Right. It's a brand. It exists. Everyone knows about it. It's a it's a league like the NFL. It's a it's a brand. They have, yeah, they have like you a, play for the NFL, the XFL. No one gives a fuck about XFL. They'd make more money. Who it said exists. it? Who said it? Was it you? Who the fuck said it? They're like, yo, they make more money just selling weed, but they haven't done it yet. Like, it's because they have such a following. Like, here's the thing. No, here's the thing, dude. They. They're from Stockton, it, it, California. No, it, it completely like these other. Okay, he looked at the camera. He no, looked, no, he no, no. These are how these the leagues crowd, work. Yeah. These other leagues, you can make more money fighting. You'll make more money off your purse, but you don't have. It's it's just okay. So like, Bellator fighters, for example, they're making more money per fight. They're probably making one point five million per fight, but nobody gives a fuck about these Bellator fighters. So any avenue for outside fucking. Uh, sponsorship, any like any of that shit yeah. out the window. So all your money comes from fighting. So like, yeah, if you're a if you're a fighter, that's all you want to do. You probably make more money in other uh, in other organizations. Hold on real quick. But okay. UFC gives you the opportunity to become a fucking superstar. You could do movies. Yeah. You could be doing TV shows. Yeah. You could be doing fucking yeah. selling out pay per views. You be a fucking global celebrity. Do they do do fighters get paid through sponsorships? Like they get like not in Nike. UFC. See why doesn't Dean? So no, do that? no. Here's the thing: you can get paid through outside. I think so. I think five you get paid, playing, you, you get paid through. It's more get pay, you can get paid why? through outside <laughs> sponsorships, but your sponsorship cannot be unless they're affiliated with you. It's not like they're walking into the yep. ring. Remember back in the day, they used to have shorts with all of their fucking sponsors. Because the NFL on. has that same shit. Like you can't wear. You could can be sponsored by Beats. But you can't wear You're Beats not gonna headphones wear the beats out to the stadium. Same it thing. has to be both. It's the same thing. So they can still make money off Beats. Yeah, but like you got to think if you're in Bellator. Nobody's gonna fucking care that you're sponsoring Beats. You, who cares? You're getting paid. That's what no, you want. no. The, the Beats cares. Yeah, Beats gets Beats butter. isn't gonna give you that fucking sponsorship money because nobody has eyes on you. They do it on the NFL though. But you're an NFL player. It's pretty big, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. UFC's <laughs> a pretty one, big one too. I know, but that's they give UFC fighters these sponsorships. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about how the UFC imagine, you have the option dude, to make money. Imagine this, bro. Not I'm, just fighter money. Imagine oh, they only paid. They need to start marketing UFC no, differently. <clears throat> imagine if they only paid the quarterback, the running back, and the wide receiver, and the, everyone else literally not only got fucked, but they only got paid like sixty grand a year. You think the NFL would be the way it was if they only paid a, a, like the quarterback, the running back, and the fucking wide receiver a million the or two, stars, sixty million or whatever the fuck? Honestly, and everyone else got honestly. Juke. The linemen get paid more than most of the players. People but, don't even know that. But that, but that's what I'm saying. But, I mean, they're not getting paid more than Tom Brady, but they're paid more than they, no, bro. But they're paid. They're paid enough to live. These these UFC fighters are paying getting paid like twenty grand a year, like shit like that, bro. Like some of the top fighters. So it's not like they're getting even enough to go buy a house and do all this shit. And, you know, but I think any people, NFL player is going to go. People watch. If they wanted to, they could live a, a normal life. People like watch life. UFC to watch a certain fighter, right? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I watch all of it, but we just always talk about whatever the championship fight was. It comes. It, it <laughs> yeah. just it comes down to whether or not you're trying to build a brand off of your name, or if you're just trying to fight. If you're just trying to fight. You're going to make more money because in if one you want to build a brand, you're going to make more, at, you more money at Eagle FC. If you're, you're not good at it, at Bellator. that's not the UFC's fault. If you're not good Bellator at it, Bellator pays more. I think. But if you want to build a brand, yeah. you do it in the UFC. The yeah. UFC, you build a fucking brand. Yeah, it's like, like WWE. Dog. You're never going to not make money. It's you WWE. build a fucking brand. Yeah. yeah. But Bellator, those fighters are content with just like, they'll do nothing outside of fighting. Yeah, they don't promote themselves. They'll make a million nothing. bucks off a of fight. They'll fight three times a year. They make $3 million a year. They don't have to promote themselves. They're purists. They're pure fighters. And, like, I can respect They're it more both like, ways. Yeah, cool. yeah. I can yeah. respect it both ways. Yeah, like, like, and if a fighter wants to go that route, let them. Yeah. I see it all the time. We just, I just saw Shane Burgos left fucking the UFC for... But uh, they shouldn't complain. <sighs> I don't think... Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think they shouldn't complain. Well... Then no one has a gun to their head. Nobody has exactly. Nobody has a gun to their head. It comes down to how you perform. Are you gonna perform and build yourself, fucking build your brand, or are you gonna fucking? You want to be a rock star? Be a fucking rock star. Also, like, some of them take pride in just like some of them will will just they'll not make more money 
because they know they're fighting in the most prestigious fucking organization. Yep, it's because it's a they'll brand. take they'll take sixty grand a year as opposed to that's a million a year, bro. Yeah. What if the NFL was the NFL, but you didn't get paid like that? You're like, then oh. no one would play. <laughs> yeah, so these fools are That'd really be a out dying there. sport. Yeah, these fools are really out there to whip ass. They'll like, learn how to play like, hockey. It's their passion. <laughs> that's their passion. <laughs> It's like Volkanovski. That's his passion. Like, it's his passion to whip ass. You could tell in his face when he talks. But I've seen like how like, like they shit. treat like kids to play football these days. It's it, it's a fucking job. These kids are waking yeah. up early. They're fucking yeah, and then, yeah. And, and most kids are they're just being, wasting their time. That's they're what's being like up. bred. That's what's fucked up to yeah. fucking dominate for a, for a percent of them to make it. And it's for one percent. And it's not like even a bad thing because like it's promoting like a job, right? It's training them to get a job. It's a job. You're getting paid. Yeah, but they're not going to get a job. They're not going to get that job. Not it a, takes if, them if you don't school. do nothing. It yeah, takes them through definitely. school, and I think it, does, it helps them with all that. Fuck. I think it helps them with everything. It except gets you for scholarships, the all this shit. I think it helps them with everything except for football in the end. <laughs> I mean, there's no wrong in it because no, it, 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 gets them for it gets them discipline. Discipline. Sets them up scholarship. Teach them how to eat right. They can go get a different career, all this shit. But if they're doing that for football... It's almost like guaranteed waste of time. It's like trying but to bet your life on the lottery. I honestly don't think it is. Because like you said, you get a scholarship to college. No, I know. But Even if it's not I'm a Division saying, one, you get no, 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 a scholarship but, but to Division saying, but two. Some, but some people are division like, oh, I don't, care, I don't care. Some people don't care about that. They just want to go to the NFL. And if they of don't course. make it, then. But you got to try to even make it. Those life skills ain't going to stick. I think they will. Because yeah. then you could become a coach, a trainer. There's so many other revenue. Then you're like a fucking in shape. You could be a college coach. Person. Uh, yeah, you could be. Yeah, you could be a coach. You could be a fucking gym yeah. fucking trainer. Own, yeah. Open up a gym. You go to school part for of business. The, that's part of the brand. And if you don't have that brand already, then you're just some dude. Yeah, but the, you know these what I mean? kids like, aren't gotta, branded in the NFL. That's what I'm saying. Look how many fucking kids are doing it. Look how many kids. At least fighting. Fighting's like a, a useful skill. That's self defense. I thought. At least they're I feel like you're that. hating on the kids working to be the NFL. No, what I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with that. No, what I'm saying is I, I don't like how they're how like they put so much emphasis and they're so fucked up to the little kids, the small kids. I'm talking about like kids in like elementary and junior high and shit. And they're being all like, get the fuck up and do all this shit. Like, damn, like, goddamn, that that irritates me. If you're it's old, not like military. If you're older, do what you want. It's but I like don't like the I don't like the really small kid camps because then they give the kids concussions and shit. When they're in high school, they're all fucked up. Well, they they they've learned you know now. They don't do that as much. They don't do a lot of. Like, I know that's that's mainly what I'm talking about is being. But not, they're learning with the know? CTE as they're. You know what I mean? Like they changed the helmets. The helmets are that. a whole different. Like, Guardian helmets. Because they were design. doing the same drills as the NFL. Have oh. you seen how they when they practice? They even got like a helmet over their helmet. It was like a padded helmet. Yeah, that's over cool. Their helmet. Yeah, that's cool to learn to learn routes and fucking and to still take a hit. Yeah. Because you got to learn how to anticipate it. Because it's not like little kids soccer. And anyone can catch the fucking ball. Whatever, anyone yeah. can catch a ball. But catching a ball while being hit or I'll be like by falling, that's a whole different It's experience. just like the little kid TIE fighters. I think they start them too young. They start them at like six. I think, it's, like I, think it's, six, I think it's fair. I think that's what you kind of have to do. You're supposed to start the fighters young, dude. Yeah. You don't take yeah. any I think you're supposed bit. to start you any don't take, athlete. You, you got to start a young. Bit, dude. You, fucking, you can throw, you can spar young and you're not going to get CTE. No one's going to become a fucking pro athlete starting in the 20s, dog. It ain't happening. Imagine. It, but it ain't happening. Imagine, huh? But it, imagine. I sick. can't even imagine that being a thing. Unless like a punter. Fighters do it. <laughs> yeah, fighters do it. They're just fighters some do normal it. dude. And they because they go on like fighters. Because fighters is like, an, it's like a beast. More Francis than and Gong didn't start, start till 26, 27. Yeah, because they him. got a dog in them. You know, they got their demons they're fucking fighting with. Well, he's just African dog. He fucking. Who? Francis, Francis and Gong. Gong yeah. Oh, yeah. Food's a monster, huh? But he, I had heard him too. Like he did a lot. Like I mean, he always worked out. He always kept himself in shape. I mean, he had no choice. No, nah, you just. Had but like to he dig worked trenches. as a young kid, and he was like he was working like a construction guy. Like he was always like working out before school. He would do but, all that shit but, and still go to school. But what I'm saying is, like when you're a little kid, and then even as even coaching, that takes discipline. But too. even coaching a little kid, you know if that kid's meant for it or not. And I, I bet you the kids in. know like I'm meant for it or not. Like yeah, yeah. They push they push a lot of people through, and they know they're not meant for that shit. Like, you know, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, I mean, you always find out if the hard you, way. Yeah, yeah. You never know that's, in the beginning. That shit what sucks. You never know you're going to be great. That's why they don't have, they don't force expectations on you. It's just like a lottery, dog. You're not going to win if you don't buy a ticket. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're not going to win. You're not going to fucking win, dude. I just don't want to be fucked up to the kids. No, oh, dude. It's for the kids. Black dog. football is a big thing right now. Black football is dope. It's yeah. It's a big thing right now. Yeah. Because then you get the kids all crazy and shit, and then they want to. I don't know. They just wanted to fucking tackle everything. It doesn't promote violence, if that's what you're insinuating. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with that. No, no, no. I think football can, and all the camps and all like the youth, 
youth things that they're doing is is phenomenal, dude. I think it's I just right. hate I, think it's excellent. I, I just hate when I see someone where you're like, yo, they're putting you through all that shit, and you know, you damn well you don't even like football that much. But it's always on the even... kids too. Like if your kid don't yeah, want to play, yeah, you're then not don't, gonna... then don't do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think any kid plays against their will. The parents. They might encourage you. If it. you played football, it's like people being like, you're going to be a doctor because I was a doctor. You're like, I think oh. that's more of a rare thing than like a oh, common no. thing. Because everything's alumni for the colleges and all this shit, bro. Yeah. I bet you there's a lot, of, much. a lot of pressure. Like if your parents were fucking athletes and they forced point. Like because you for, be some, for some people, the, the college is the NFL. Like, you know what I mean? That, that Like damn near because they know they're not going to go past that. Damn near everyone that season knows they're not going to NFL. <laughs> like so. That's yeah, what that's almost, what I'm saying. But just to get to college is a great way because you might not be just smart. don't waste it. Yeah, just don't waste it. Keep the skills. Yeah. Keep the discipline. And, keep the athleticism. And keep, take keep business co- classes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> don't go to fucking yeah, some d- dumbass yeah, fucking class. Exactly, bro. Dumbass major. You know? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Set the kids up for success. If you are doing that, set your, set, set yourself up because I, there's, I feel there's like a small are, percentage. Though, like, sure. what if you could? What if you're betting your life on the lottery, but there's still like a like a side plan on the way. That could still, you're still good no matter what. Other because, people just focus on one thing and fuck off the rest. I've it. heard of plenty of stories too, like even in college, where they'll advise a kid, like, no, finish college. Yeah, they want to don't, 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 up. don't, uh, uh, because you have to apply to get, to get drafted. You got to apply yourself. Yeah. You know, you got like, you got to put in a form and be eligible yeah. for a draft. And when you do that, you cancel your scholarship. Oh, shit. No way. Yeah. They cancel your scholarship if you, if you become eligible for the draft. Let's say you don't even get drafted, you're still fucked from college. So it's a risk. Oh fuck! I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a risk. That's so like, you I'm could saying. choose us through all four years, and that's that's advised highly for the guy that's not highly touted. That's what I'm saying. You're wasting. You're 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 fucking wasting your whole fucking life. Well, not your whole life, but you're wasting a nice. That's why you got you got to know who to yeah. trust in your circle. Like if your yeah, moms bro. and dads are saying like, hey, "That's crazy." Hey, son, finish school, but if his coaches are egging him on and be like, "No, bro, you're gonna be you know at least second round pick." That's what I'm saying. You, you can make your own decisions then as well. You can either listen to your parents or listen to the... Or when you're on the field, bro. Listen to the coaches. I bet you when they're out there and they're on the field, they know who's who's the fucking the big dick. You know what I mean? They're bro, like, and oh, then with social media like, now, oh, too, shit. your name's being name dropped like a motherfucker bro. online. You know. You go to the field. You see the like, mock yeah, drafts? They have like... There's like 80 fucking websites with mock drafts. You're like, I can't run and that And your name's on fast. that shit. I can't run that fast, dog. I know. You're like, damn. You see people running? You're like, well, I can run pretty fast. I think that's, a, like, that's well, a cool thing they did. They did that. It's kind of new. They did that in NFL and NBA, too. So, like, you do the fucking, like, the pre-draft combines. And if you don't do good, you can be like, nah, never mind. I'm going to go back to school. No way. Yeah, they, that, that never <laughs> used to be. It's a new thing now. It's out of college. Pre-dra- oh, it's out of college? Yeah. Why is that pre-drafting? It's, it's, a, it's called a draft combine. It's where they, like, see how fast you run, how high you jump, how much you can bench press, how much yeah, everything, yeah. All, all that. And if you have a killing of a fucking combine, then stay, right? But let's just, let's just say you fucking had a horrible combine. Then they're like, it's not for you. And then, no, then you can like decide, like, all right, I'm gonna go back to school. I'm not gonna, because oh, if shit, when yeah. you get eligible, they'll cancel. As soon as you are eligible, your scholarship's canceled, uh-huh. whether you make it in the NFL or not. Fuck. So, yeah. They give you a chance now where you do the combine, and if you don't feel confident in yourself, all right, fuck, I'm gonna go You're back gonna to fuck school. Fuck off your scholarship, huh? So, like, if you don't feel comfortable, it's like, all right, I'm going back. <laughs> Dude. I'll wait till next year. I'll train harder. I, I had no idea. See, that makes it even more fucking like just it's such a slim chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's oh, a slim yeah, chance, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. You better go to. Like you can even said. get undrafted. There's like there's a lot of seniors. They'll finish all four years of college and then uh, then be, then become eligible for the draft. And let's just say they don't even get picked. They're done with school, though. Yeah. And they still don't get drafted. You can become undrafted. And that's a lot of what undrafted rookies. You never see like a, a second year college player. Not getting drafted and then getting undrafted. That's kind of rare. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. Because then he could just be like, I'll just, I just go finish off school. What the fuck? Yep. What do you think, Donovan? Donnie's back. Fresh off the shitter. Back. I just didn't want them giving people yes, hope. Was mad. For no reason. Mad. For what? Man. For N- for NFL players that were aspiring NFL players to have hope for no fucking reason. No. That they should go take good classes and that they should keep the work ethic and all this stuff. Because if not, then they're just fucking off. You got to remember, shit. too, the spotlight is Thinking on like, the oh, NFL. Oh, no, they'll take me. Yeah, they'll take me. The, oh, spot, yeah. the like, spotlight what? is on the like, NFL. Dude, you don't even dude. work that hard yet. They got to look good. They can't yeah. be shady fucking grinding the system. Uh-huh. They got to, like, cover up, you know, the money aspect of it all, too. They got to, like, pretend they're a good. The all eyes is on the NFL. You know what I mean? It's big companies. It's the biggest. A lot of eyes on it. And that's where UFC, I think they're having their problems because 
they're becoming very like focused upon. So Dana's got to no, make some I, moves. You know what I mean? Like in regards to what? Because Dana's already said he said nothing's gonna change as long as he's a boss. Exactly. Yeah. Well, he said they get paid the appropriate amount. I feel that's fair. He said you eat. He said you you eat what you kill. I think that's fair, dude. Because it feels the same way too. You're not gonna pay someone a quarterback twenty mil a season if he's not good. You're not gonna do it. No. He's not and he he's not gonna expect twenty mil. But the thing is though, <laughs> you there can are cut him. but there are fucking if you don't want to play, don't play. But there are quarterbacks who will they'll go fucking fifteen years in the league as a backup quarterback. They'll play seven sec they'll play fucking seven games and twenty fucking fifteen seasons or whatever, and they'll walk out of that thirty million dollars. It's a fucking hell of a life, dog. <laughs> like Brock, like who they, can feel, feel like sympathy Brock, to someone who made like thirty Brock mil Os to never get hit? They get Brock Osweiler, exactly. Well, he played. I know, but he 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 got paid fat too, and he but sucks. he retired after that one. He got the thirty mil guaranteed contract. But you know why he got that money? And then said, "I'm out." You know why he got that money though? Huh? He got that money because he played for the Broncos, and he was under Peyton Manning's. He was under Peyton Manning's wing, and he also got us to the playoffs when Peyton Manning was hurt. He was out for eight games. Fucking yeah, but Osweiler he won six of those. He couldn't throw past twenty yards, dog. He, 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 I think they think he was in a bad system as well. I don't think that coach was suitable for his style of play. But I mean, there's so many different factors. I mean, maybe he just yeah. wasn't feeling it. Some people stop getting hungry. Some players, you give them a fat contract and their hunger's gone. It's they're, hard. They're, they're not like it's hard to like. They got the money. They're set. They're content. Like, what, they're would not, you, what would you do if you had the money to pay the players? Like, you had the money, but you're like, should I? No, fuck no. If you're not worth it. That's what I'm saying. Not every not every quarter pack is not every quarter pack is paid the same them, though. though. Like how many mills? I mean, it depends on like. I mean, shit. <laughs> fuck. You know I what? have absolutely no fucking. I, I don't know. I'm Especially that's fucking, why there's small there's guy, there's like, small market teams and then there's large market teams too. They base everything. Cleveland off Browns of, is a small market team. San San Francisco is a large market team. Yeah. But, it's there's caps. I thought it goes there's down salary to the caps. Owners, too, there's luxury summer, tax. There's who owns the fucking thing? That depends on how much money they probably have. The NFL the is a brand, and then the, each individual team has a is the ownership, and then they have like a it's a board, like, like a company board of advisors. They're all on that board. Every team owner, each team is treated is like the, a, it's like a business. And there's also a players union, so there's like minimum pay you have to regard to a player, given on which uh, position you play, whether you're good or not. There's like. Like you got to you get at least make this much minimum pay. Yeah, there's it, there's a players union. Thank God for minimum shit. wage in the NFL. And and it's probably like Thank fifteen, God. like the lowest players probably making like fifteen thousand fucking month or something. Oh, I don't think so. Probably more because <laughs> the, the lowest because the lowest contract because the lowest contract I can give somebody in Madden is nine hundred fifty thousand dollars. I believe. Yeah, a year. Yep. I th I thought it was like six. Or I don't think you can give. I don't think you can give them low. So what? That's probably like what even ten thousand a month. Even if you're a garbage fucking player, bro. At the minimum, you're making, you're making a couple at hundred least, thousand. Oh, so yeah, you're making, you're making like a hundred thousand a month. Couple no, hundred you're making thousand. like six, seven a year. So yeah. like, bro, you're even if you're garbage, bro, you're making six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars a year. You're making more money than you'll ever fucking. <laughs> you'll never need to worry about it. And I don't think there's anything three wrong with years. that shit. You know what they do? They three try to ball out with their in. homies. They're like, they're, they're star. They're with the star quarterback, and they're out, and they're like, ball out. And you're like, yeah. Well, you know what the NBA does? <laughs> you know what like the that. NBA does? That's pretty cool too. Like, so as a rookie, and you get drafted in the draft. Yeah. They send you two classes, like on how to manage your money. No shit. How to handle your taxes, and that way, you when you retire, you have money to live on. They teach you now that shit. It's fucking. Dope, I didn't know bro. they did that. Fuck yeah. I thought they were yeah. just being pieces of shit Fuck and letting them run no, off with no. all that dope. It, I think it's because they don't have minimum of seven hundred five thousand. Don't advertise them being good. Seven hundred five thousand. Minimum of seven oh five. That's, That's a, a good lot number. of gouda. That's a good number. Gouda That's a lot of gouda to be a third string line. Once a player hits four years in the league, it's nine hundred thousand. The, the backup kicker. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> the backup's backup kicker. <laughs> Fuck, that'd be sick. Fuck yeah, he's living the life. Yeah, he is. He gets to fucking travel. He gets to get paid. He gets the fucking free gym at the fucking practice arena. <laughs> like, no, uh, no shit. Yeah, they they get chefs. You know, they cook them custom meals at the, the practice shit. Like they get, bro. I do not feel sorry for any one of them. The lowest paid one, I do not feel sorry for him. After seven seasons, it's a million dollars a year. No matter what, huh? It's one point zero seven five million. Players Union, baby. I don't know nothing about the Players Union. They don't. And, and the Players me. Union yeah, is player run, too. The Players Union is run by like they they the players elect a player. 
to be the leader. And Players to on to the practice squad who went uh, <clears throat> three years on the practice squad was making him four hundred ninety five thousand a year. Pretty good. Whoa. I that's mean, on the practice squad. That's, that's just practice. That's not even you never. He's that's, not going to a game. That's you never even made the the fifty two man roster. You never hey, three man roster. You never jerseyed up at all, huh? Never. You, you just helped practice. You, you probably don't even have a name on your jersey. Five hundred grand a year. You're just much, a number. No, 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 look up. Look up who. The, how much the water boy makes? Oh, that's there's a water though. boy, dog. That's Everyone like a state. That's boy. a stadium theme, maybe though. Is it? Yeah, I think that's a stadium. Job, Does it each? Or, no, each no fifty three thousand exactly. Exactly, okay. bro. It's a real job. Every everyone has it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's dude, just not a boy. It for it's, free? Like a it's like a man. It's like a water man. You don't know who the fuck it is. It just looks like. Some well, yeah, guy. of course they didn't do that shit for free. Though. <laughs> it's not a boy. That's oh. about. That's probably. That's about. They got women doing that shit too. Like, it's almost what I make. Those water girls. Yo, just do water boy. You know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? Though? I thought about something today. I said, "What is there? What's a problem I could solve for everybody?" Right? <laughs> what's a problem I could solve for everybody? I'm like, you're smart. Just fucking think about it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. You were on shrooms, though. No, I was looking. I was getting some change together, right? So I was at the drive-through, and it was like a, whatever the fuck, sixty-two cents, whatever, you know. So I, I was getting the sixty-two cents, and I'm like, damn, I have change all the time. I need to go to Coinstar, but I'm tired of going to Coinstar because they tax you, and I can only go fucking Bonds or Food Mat, wherever the fuck they have them, right? Every time I talk to somebody or everywhere I go, why the fuck isn't there a Coinstar at a gas station, or why in the fuck start isn't there a Coinstar in a, in a uh, liquor store or a dispensary? Right. Why isn't there a coin star? Everybody's broke as fuck saying, oh, I got a bunch of change at home. So you well, put coin stars in all these places? Yeah, but here's the thing. With the, you could do personal coin star, like buying an ATM. You 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 don't you don't you basically fund the money maybe with like twenty, thirty thousand to begin with, not even that ten thousand dollar loan. Boom, you do that, and then with the coins you do, you pick through the coins, see which ones are valuable. Some coins are worth a thousand, some coins oh, okay. are da, 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 and you you boom turn trying to get up. like a nineteen sixty five quarter yeah. and make that yeah, but, that quarter's worth five bucks. No, no, shit. but but not only that, but you're gaining revenue off the ten percent tax every time. Like you ten percent's a lot, bro. If you had a yeah. lot, like say you had a lot of shit, ten, say you had a jug with all quarters, ten percent they're taking off the top. I have a little pouch, bro. It's like forty bucks. Have you ever seen that? Remember when Rob Dirty yeah, got a fucking, a he got an ATM in his house. So like when they when they shoot pool and they owe money or whatever, they can pull it out at his house. Oh, that's but there's sick. a $5 charge to use it. Yeah. Because it's his money inside the ATM machine, but there's a $5 charge to even pull anything out. Because it is what it is, bro. You got to get taxed to use the service. Yeah, that, it's then convenience. it's also, yeah. It's convenience. Yeah. Bro. Convenience. Convenience. Hey, let's end it there, bro. Fuck let's yeah. end it there. It's so fucking hot in here, bro. I can't even think. I that's can't even a, think. I'm sweating one. through every pore in my body. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Donovan's sweating right now. I'm we're so sweaty, dude. It's disgusting. Shit. And we're out. Hey. Oh, my legs are like...